Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Monday here on Nerd Theory. Josh, what's going on, baby? What's up, brother? Um, first of all, that I must have the volume up really loud because holy cow, that that intro blew my ears right out. I wonder if anybody else does. Is that does like every week? Do we like destroy your guys's ears <laughs> before the show starts Ooh. or something? Or maybe it was just me. I, I might have had the the volume up. Uh, too much, get that but... on the playback. Chat. Do we blow up your guys's ears every every week when we do that? Yeah. Now I feel a little bad. Maybe once I got this Go XLR thing, it uh, changed Itch. a lot of mm. volume. Yeah. Inputs. I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, but I'm good. You know, I'm sure. You know, we'll get into the how I'm not good uh, with Star Wars. But uh, the COD thing was cool. Played the beta a little bit over the weekend. That was fun. I saw you playing a little bit. What do you think? I like it, man. It was good. I'm just I I like Warzone, so I'm waiting for Warzone to come out because I'm mm -hmm. not the best player, but with Warzone, I, I find I have more fun with my boys, and uh, yeah, so waiting for that. Right on. Yeah, when does that one, is that going to come out like October? November 14 or something. something like okay. It, yeah, it, 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 like next few months is going to be crazy for gaming. Yeah. Modern Warfare 2, full game, and then God of War Ragnarok, and then Warzone for Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, yeah, it feels smooth. Like it, I, it reminded me of the old Modern Warfare, like the first one. Um, I feel like it's a little bit slower than the last COD that uh, it is, yeah. That Warzone is on and everything like that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's pretty cool. I also played the shit out of this Gundam game over the weekend, dude. And I've been liking that. It's like a Gundam version of uh, Overwatch, and so I was having fun with that. But yeah, ended up having a good weekend. That's good. Um, so before we hopped on the stream, Josh was talking about how he uploaded a video last week, and I watched it. And I gave my take on it on the gaming channel. And, um, but I guess it like blew up or something. And you were telling me, and, and, and we're like, let's just save it for the stream so it's organic. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it blew up. I mean, it obviously performed well. It did good views, I think, because I think almost anything Andor at the time was, was going to be doing well, but it was also like really, you know, like baity on the surface level. Cause I was like, I'm done with Star Wars. You know what I mean? And, um but it ended up being a popular video but i think the when i watched it because like i know you probably have this thing too where sometimes like i'll record a video i pass it off to my editor and i'm like i really have no idea what that's going to end up looking like or being like or even if i sounded coherent you know what i mean like did i ramble like was i making good points yeah sometimes you're just in the moment and you're like yeah and you watch it back and you're like what am i even saying yeah well i was lucky and grateful that that one actually to me felt like a pretty good video it's cohesive it kind of kind of lays it all out there with how i'm feeling but i think the the bottom line uh and i think a lot of people have sort of called me on this and i've thought about it a lot and this is sort of a hard thing to admit um but it's like i don't like stories oh you don't i don't like stories you just all like i like getting slashed up ca cameos lightsabers the force you know what i mean like everybody showing up all at once i can't believe that there weren't any lightsabers jedi sith coming out i kept looking for them to come through doorways you know jump from ceilings and and do something like that uh and at the end of the day andor is just a little show about um about you andor. know cassian andor yeah <laughs> no but in all seriousness um yeah, to me, Andor doesn't feel like Star Wars. At least it doesn't give me the feeling of, oh, shit, like this is the future. This is what I want from Star Wars. Um, and I think that because I am just I am literally so jaded at this point after Whoa. just a lot of different things that have happened, like I, I can't be nice about it as far as like. I just kind of decided I think the best thing for me to do is like I'm not going to do watch parties for it. I'm not going to do breakdown videos for it. I'll talk about it here and also watch the show to like be able to talk about it here and, you know, engage there. But I just want to limit my personal um, like relationship with Star Wars for for a little while. You know what I mean? And I can totally admit, by the way, that a lot of this is me. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's honestly been a, a long time coming because even on this show over uh, the past couple of months, I've sort of started to sour and you know kenobi was a very very difficult show for me as a fan uh to, to get through um 
and so I don't know if it's maybe just a little bit of that when it comes to Andor, but um, yeah, I just I had a moment where I realized if every time I stream about this, every video I'm gonna make about this, I'm gonna come across so bitter and just like overly negative. And to be honest, like there are a lot of channels that sort of you know corner the market on right, and I'm just like that's not really what I want to do with the channel. It's not really what I want to do with the brand. So it's better. Um, that I kind of just take a step back. And and so that's kind of what the video is. And that's kind of where I'm at with it, which is ironic because Andor is arguably way better than Kenobi and Boba, but it is also the show that kind of broke me personally. So. Okay. I mean, you're totally entitled to your opinion. I see your points of view and things. And I also clickbaited the hell out of the stream. Well, not, not really. I, I just now changed the title to Josh's goodbye to Star Wars and uh, changed the <laughs> yeah, thumbnail yeah. to your face. <laughs> While you were just yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, whatever. Um, yeah. It's kind of true. You're, you're done. So yeah. my, my take on it is, again, totally valid points. Um, I think it's too early to tell, first of all. And I think that the show has really good potential to warm up and to go to a really interesting place. I agree the first three episodes were boring as hell. I mean, I talked to a lot of people and they were just like, I couldn't even get through it. Like I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Um, There were moments that were really exciting. Not really exciting. There were moments that were in comparison to the rest of the show exciting. I felt like it dragged on a lot. For things that didn't really matter, it built character development for characters that were just like going to die. But I think the delivery was well. I think the cinematography was well. I think the acting was really well done. Music was okay. Uh, And it it, it delivered it really nicely, I think, um, for what they were trying to do. And this is like a a prologue, I feel like, Mm -hmm. to the show. So once I saw the fact that there was uh, the Separatist... Did you see my video at all? Um, I watched... I definitely watched one of your videos, but I don't think I watched the most recent one. Okay, so there's a Separatist logo on the dudes that crash landed. Okay. The CIS. Mm-hmm. Confederacy of Independent Systems. So Dooku's... Uh, what what Dooku is controlling. Mm-hmm. Why the hell do those guys have that logo? Okay, they crash landed. And then when Marva comes in there, Andor's mom, she's like, these are rebel soldiers or rebel pilots. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, sorry, Republic pilots. Why are these Republic pilots having CIS logos on them? So my thoughts and a lot of people's thoughts are maybe that this is a, a show telling more of the story of why the Republic is actually not as great as many of us thought. Because mm-hmm. right? we got the point of view of the Republic with the Jedi, with all that, and we're like, they're the good guys, so to speak. And then from Anakin's point of view, they were evil, right? And now I think from civilians and from people who were part of the CIS, like Andor's mom and all this stuff, they are probably going to show us a story of why the Republic is corrupt. Sure. So a theory that I saw in the chat was these Republic soldiers or these Republic pilots are covering up something sinister that they're trying to do with this mining facility or picking up parts or whatever it might be. And they're disguising themselves as the CIS so that if something goes wrong and they're publicized, then Dooku is the one that's going to be bl- blamed. Mm. And it won't okay. be the Republic. So for me, like that little th- that little bit in there, now I'm intrigued. Now I'm into it. Sure, sure. So you're talking about almost like a false flag. Like, like they're f- trying to... There's like a false flag, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, that definitely sounds interesting. And I would... See, like to me, like I would appreciate something like that. And and to be fair, like because I'll be totally fair, um, but also honest, right, with how I feel, right? Because I get what you're saying. And I think that, you know, even in the video I made, I was like, look, it, it's a well directed show. The performances are great. Like the actors are killing it. It doesn't, none of it feels like goofy ass Kenobi, like literally hide her under my jacket shit, right? Like yeah. it takes itself seriously. Um, I, I think tonally it's really great. It looks great. You know what I mean? Like it really does. It it looks really good, um, and it's it's in a nice package thing. And I would argue that it's even a good show for what it is trying to be. Right? I guess for me, my frustrations with it kind of go 
it, it's almost like this bird's eye view of the the company which at this point like again i just can't help but see it that way and to me this feels like they were like hey let's do tony gilroy version of star wars right um and i just personally that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for star wars heralded and catered by people yeah. that understand it and want to create it the way that i think it it should be made and that comes down to taste in a lot of ways but like for me just the way that it's all presented it, it's very um like i didn't feel like so, dude there's this wild thing where um back in the day i literally had this experience with dave filoni because he, he came back to my college and we had this like big presentation he was working with the art students and i remember asking him about were there any things that you wanted to do when you were at the idea stage that george shot down and like what were those things and he said that like he was originally going to make the first clone wars movie and in the introduction of ahsoka much darker it was going to be dark and like mature. And he said that like George literally just watched it quietly, you know, heard the pitch and said, well, this isn't very fun. And like as stupid and as simple as that statement is, I think it it really echoes what is at the heart of Star Wars and what to me is so tonally important to the themes of what George was doing. And this to me just feels like a well put together product, absolutely, but one that just fundamentally misses the mark, at least so far, on what is the Star Wars feeling. You know what I mean? Like, what is that feeling, that heroic, that swell of music, that I feel inspired thing, like that, you know, I that. I just think it's too early. Yeah, fair. I think it's premature. Totally fair. I don't think it's, I don't think it's ready yet. I think, you know, episode five, episode five, maybe we'll be able to tell, be like, all right, this is bullshit. Uh, well, we'll, yeah for sure i mean look we'll see because yeah right I'm, now there's no there's really no star wars connection it's just like a sci-fi blade runner kind of thing with yeah. maybe a few mentions and like that logo that that uh, has me interested but at the same time it might just be like they just like threw that in there you know right i mean i would ask what happens if that doesn't materialize but at the end of the day, like, I don't I, I don't know how. The, here's the other thing that's interesting, because you're saying it's too early and you're right. But it feels like it's I, I feel like after watching these three episodes, I have no idea what's going to happen next and what to expect of the show. Is it going to be exactly what we just saw piecemealed out for nine more weeks with a half hour each week? Is it going to, you know, kind of accelerate into more? a uh, heroic star warsy kind of you know feeling i i don't know um but i'll definitely be checking out i'm still you know i want to see what they're doing but i guess at a fundamental level i just feel like um damn like this misses like one of the most important ingredients of star wars where dave right dave's stuff like dude he is so good at capturing repackaging reimagining but making it feel like it did the star wars themes these yeah. ideas, these things. And it's it, it's serialized fun, dude. It's supposed to be fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll definitely give it a chance and, and try to continue with it. But it was one of those situations where, like, look, when, when it comes to you and me, like, I know we can talk about it. We can see eye to eye and all that. Yeah. But, like, to, to talk about it over and over again, especially if I'm solo streaming, where I'm just going to be getting a ton of feedback from people that are just, you know, denigrating you know angry and and ah uh, you don't like stories like you just want it to be like marvel you know rah, rah, rah. it's like dude it's a little much and it's just like i i'm like i'm good um i just need to like kind of limit my because i don't want to lose <laughs> i don't want to lose it bro you know what i mean and it's okay to lose and, it once in a while honest. it's no big deal yeah no it's no big deal true, true. you know that's it you got to lose it sometimes you're you're a person you know you're not a corporate entity right you're not you're not a soup. So um I still think it's too early. I think you know the show has 12 episodes. We've seen three. We've seen a quarter of them so far. So, you know, if you think of like a pizza, you you you've you've put a quarter of the ingredients on. Mm -hmm. You've baked it only a quarter of the time. It's like, "Hey, it's, it's doesn't even, yeah, it doesn't even look like a pizza." For sure. Yeah, yeah. No, but uh, but I know what you mean and I, I it, it was a snooze fest for sure. Um, you know, it, compared to Rogue One, like right off the bat, Rogue One felt like Star Wars. Definitely. 
Definitely. This didn't. This is, I'm like, okay, well, this is like some sci-fi space thing. Yeah, okay, well, let's keep going and see what happens. But uh, if it continues to be like this, then yeah, absolutely. But I just, I can't come up with a proper um, idea of the show as a whole yet because it's 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 mm -hmm. not even half baked. You know, if yep. we were at episode six, like I could maybe come up with okay. Oh yeah, and dude, maybe nine weeks from now you'll see another. Baby as hell video with me with a big old smile on the thumbnail and i'm like i'm back in star wars you know what i mean like i would honestly yeah. like that like i wouldn't even be mad um about that but i guess just for now it's like it's not necessarily all andor's fault because it's a lot of like little things when it comes to lucasfilm man and by the way this is kind of interesting there was a story that broke the day before or no yeah it was the day before it came out that like tony gilroy had signed this massive deal and that they were going to do a first look thing with him with multiple shows and movies. Okay. Um, and I reported on this. The, it was actually the Tuesday after Nerd Theory. It broke like early in the morning. Um, and I was talking about it. And I was like, this is interesting because it sort of raises the stakes of Andor. But if you don't like Andor, it might be a signal of like, well, buck up, buddy, because this is what it is now. Right. Now, that story, Disney reached out to that outlet and told them to take it down. That's weird. You could read that a couple of different ways. First of all, maybe there's zero truth to it, and Disney does not want that story out there to gain traction. Maybe there is some truth to it, and Disney's like, nah, fam, like, I don't want this out there right now because we want to see how Andor does, and we want to sort of control the narrative on this. But I'm a little nervous, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm a little nervous here. Hey, 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 take the story down. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Take the story down now. Take the story down, or your life is over. Yeah, dude. Well, it's it's funny too because it harkens back to like stuff Mark was saying, right? Where he's like, "Yo, if Disney calls you to take it down, like you take it down." I mean, not me and you, right? But like you know, to a lot of people and to a lot of outlets, that's uh, they don't want to go through their career with a, a a big enemy like that. And I understand it. That's fine. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah it's just dude it's just weird times right now like i'm i'm holding out hope for um for this show but also for you know a lot of the dave filoni stuff that's coming on like basically anything oh, yeah, that dave touches i'm like i'm like literally like thanking the good lord that he's still over there and he's still doing his thing and um uh, yeah yeah he wasn't on boba right no no well i think he co-wrote the luke episode he might have directed that episode too, but other than that, right. it was like one of the best. Yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah. Of course. Um. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, dude. Like, people are gonna be really bored about this, but I'm really excited for the politics of Andor. I can't mm -hmm. wait till we get to the Senate and the Moth Mon Mothma stuff because they're just, it's just, I just find it so interesting. The stuff that's gonna be happening between her and the freaking Empire, right? Like. We all know that's going back to Palpatine, so I, I really hope. You know, like I I don't see a way in which they do it naturally where it doesn't deal with all kinds of things that like you I'm excited so, for, right? I like think, I'm so excited for that. I want to see Mass Amita, I want to see Palpatine in the Senate. I want like you know, like we'll probably see Vader. I'll be super surprised if we don't see him at one point. Yeah, how could you not? Like that's there's such such a clickbait for them, you know? No, this is a this is a show for adults. This is an adult Star Wars. Yeah, what is Wars. with that? Why why do they Bro, always? Have, it's like, so those, irritating they, to me. Every dude. Star Wars project they have, like like with Ryan Johnson's, like this is gonna be the dark. This is gonna have a bigger twist than I am your father. It's like why mm -hmm. can't you guys just just release just release the project and let us decide? Like, well, I think is, with Andor, well, well, I think with Andor though, it's intentional and it's accurate. It's just to me, like I like I was watching the show and I was like mocking it over and over again. Where I was just like, "Dude, this this is so adult. I can't believe how what? adult this Dude, is." But it's really just boring as fuck. You know what it's I mean? But boring as hell, man. Like, how is it adult? But then again, like I'm still excited to see where it goes because I think it has so much potential. Like my brain for what I want, what I see it doing is that it could be really great. But I don't know. Who knows if it, it'll go there? I think. Yeah, I'm just really tired of people like shit on the prequels. Like these review artists or where these review people like these like how yeah. was how were any any part of the prequels not for adults? Like it's for everybody. 
dude. Like I'm like 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 you got you got freaking Jar Jar Binks, but then you got Anakin like literally killing younglings. You got Anakin cutting off heads. You got his mm -hmm. arm getting sliced off. You got him burning alive. You got him killing Tusken Raiders in a fit I of would... rage when his mom dies. Yeah, who knows what the hell happened to her? She looked a little beat up. Dude, you know exactly. Uh, no, so it's, it's implied like, for sure. This isn't about kids. This is, this is this is just a cool story. It's not kids or adults. It's well, it's everybody. I would argue that um, it actually is for kids, but that adults can get a lot out of it because I think that in a lot of ways, like there's a kid still inside every adult, right? Well, of um, and I, I, yeah, and that's what I think for sure i mean i'm a professional literal yeah, man baby. you want to see what i put on my bed today my new sheets yeah. i gotta show you this i got <laughs> is it batman this. no it's dragon ball <laughs> oh shit dude that's so cool i had stuff like that when i was old, younger <laughs> yeah dude Bro, i remember I'm 32. that 32 <laughs> yeah like no that's what i mean though is that i think one of the reasons that when i like watch really good star wars um and this is like you know all of george's movies but the clone wars too right and rebels it actually brings me back to a feeling of youth you know what i mean like it does it like brings me back to this feeling of like i don't know man being so hopeful so present like remember like getting out of some of these movies and just being filled with such joy and energy and wanting to like act them out and like do all these different things. And I think that the themes of, uh, you know, either, you know, working towards love and the light side or working towards like destructive self-love and oblivion. Like, I think that that's just so central, you know, and these themes are why Star Wars is what it is. Um, and uh so no I, I i get what you're saying and you know it's funny you talk about the prequels like that because i've been thinking a lot about this because i had like you know all these thoughts and w before the video after the video etc cetera, etc cetera, right um i would almost say that a disdain for the prequels has plagued disney star wars and created many of their problems and it started with jj you know what i mean like it started with jj and the way he like wanted to take star wars in a direction totally different from prequel stuff and abandon all of that because he personally didn't like it and i felt i feel like a lot of stuff within star wars because of that idea and being very not only like kind of selfish and closed-minded but very corporate about it right where you're like well dude those are divisive we don't want to make divisive content which by the way good job but um i i feel like a lot of their problems literally stem from the fact that if you really get Star Wars, you, I think, have to be able to derive some enjoyment out of the prequels. And I know that's crazy to say because I know there are people that just like absolutely hate them, like Star Wars Santa, like just can't. He just like can't. He just absolutely hates them. Um, but I think that if you understand the themes of Star Wars, it's really hard to not get something out of those movies or to at least understand what George was trying to do with those movies. Um and yeah, man, fast forward just kind of like to where we're at right now. And it feels like that lack of understanding is actually causing a lot of our problems, you know? Yeah, we'll see where it goes. I think it's going to be hopefully good going forward because we got a lot of John and Dave projects. Mando, Tales of the Jedi, uh, Bad Batch 2, Ahsoka, uh, Acolyte. I don't know how that's going to go, but I hope it'll be good. Yeah, hope. I mean, we got uh, we got to hope it'll be dope. Getting a feeling it's going to be maybe like Ronin a little bit. Mm hmm. So, hey, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, you want to jump to the uh, the, the Disney one? To make two? Disney! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. This is actually really interesting, too. So this is kind of a bit of news that dropped today, guys. And want to know what you guys think about yeah, it. Yeah, we got 3,400 people in here. If y'all can hit like, we only have 810 likes. That's pretty pathetic on your part. <laughs> yeah, like, we're not trying to call you out, but... So, like, we're not, you know, just, just you know... Good. Smash the like button. Holy shit. Now this is pod Boom. So check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Disney wants a new Star Wars game every six 
months. Sources have suggested the entertainment giant Disney wants a new Star Wars game released every six months. It's understood that Disney wants one major triple A title and one smaller game per fiscal year, which is something Lucasfilm is set to deliver on. The ramp up in video game department for Star Wars uh, games comes after EA lost its exclusivity access to the franchise. I know, right? Um, so far, eight Star Wars titles have been announced to be in development, many of which have not been scheduled for a release date. So we've got the Skydance game by Amy Hennig. I believe that's going to be because she did the Uncharted games, right? I think we know a little bit about uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm mixing that up. Uh, Untitled FPS from Respawn. An open world game by Ubisoft, Star Wars Eclipse by Quantum Dream, Knights of the Old Republic remake, now under Saber Interactive, Jedi Survivor, Respawn Entertainment, our, all of our hopes reside in you, Jedi Survivor, don't fuck it up, uh, Star Wars Hunters, you ever play that? Uh, that was like a the mobile game, right? Mobile? Or No. Or like the Switch shit thing. No, no, I never did. Yeah, but the Knights of the Old Republic is gone. It's delayed and Star it's now a new is probably canceled. Right, right. Yeah. Twitter canceled it. Yeah. 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 Uh I don't know what any of the other ones were. But. Yeah, I mean, they're basically all in that same vein. Just like stuff we've heard about, stuff that's rumored. But I guess the news is, and this kind of lines up with a lot of that buzz, is that Disney's trying to get to the point where they do a triple A title each year and a lesser Star Wars game every single year. And I mean, that's ambitious. I think it's way different than the like, you know, very sparse games that we've had over the past couple of years. Um, what, what do you think? No, it's not ambitious at all. They got so much. Dude, they are handling the Star Wars IP like Bantha doo-doo, man. They got they're literally the most powerful company on the face of the planet for media. And they're just shit in the bed. They got whack-ass writers. They got whack-ass stories. Half-baked schemes here and there, canceling projects left and right. Kathleen Kennedy doesn't know what the hell is going on over there. Souring one person, getting rid of him halfway through the story's shot, getting someone else, and then firing his ass, and then hiring only females because men are shit, and then just like turning all the stories and characters into garbage because they don't understand Star Wars. Taking all of George Lucas's Episode Eight, Nine sequel trilogy treatment and throwing it in the trash <laughs> you're gonna use it george yeah 100 yeah oh absolutely we'll, we'll take these in consideration <laughs> freaking throw it oh, in the, shit. the vader funeral fire pyre like yeah what the hell bro like <laughs> bro you know it's so are... funny you just had the total answer that like that's exactly how i'm feeling by the way i feel the same way um but like you just had a reaction to this story and not the other thing where i'm like yo and it makes me feel like this and, and we go to the no, and but here's the thing. To tell. I can't. That's I can't true. Tell yet That's where it's true. Go. It could be great. It could be lame as hell. So far, it's super boring. But I think the general idea is great. And I think yeah. this was like I look at this like a like a like a prologue mm -hmm. to the show. Like you don't need to watch these three episodes before the show, but you kind of it would be great if you do. So now episode four is really like episode one, and yeah. we basically have nine episodes. So T totally fair. I just wanted to point out, because I think it's just kind of funny, is that in a lot of ways, I feel like we're both at the same place with Star Wars, which, by the way, you were here way before me. I've been hope remember like a year ago when I was still like really hopeful. It was like, no, nah, dude, it's going to be OK. They're going to remember when out. I was shitting on, on Disney. I'm like, they're handling it poorly. And you're just like, no, dude, what are you talking about? It's going to be yeah, great. They're I think we literally got into a fight about it where I was like, no, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. And so it's just crazy to me that like. Anyway, I, I it's look, I, I'm not trying to doomsay, right? It is what it is. But also, yeah. I do think this is a little bit of a canary in the coal mine thing. And I had some friends and like even Jay like reached out to me and he was just like, dude, like. Wow, you know what I mean? And it's just it, it, it is interesting to be here as a fan. I absolutely agree with everything you're saying, man. And I think that the 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 brand problem when I was trying to explain to people because I did a stream after I did the video just to like try to you know, face the music or whatever. Right. And the thing that I'm trying to explain to fans, and I'm not even trying to be a dick about it. It's that we are on a path right now to like a complete brand dilution to it being very much a secondhand brand that we will only talk about the glory days and there will be almost no hype or no excitement, you know, out for star wars right like we are on that path well, i'm not as, saying we're the old guys yes I, but for the new people you know they're, they're gonna be like what are these old guys talking about we are basically turning into that old grandpa generation where we're like 
what are these you new young whippersnappers talking about? Like, this is garbage. Like, you know, yeah. back in my day, you know. But do you Luke think Scott though, was the hero? Right, right. No, and I get you, what but here's the thing. Right, but here's he the thing. Is, I, I, I don't know that. I, I mean, I understand what you're saying, and I think there's truth in that, but I just don't know that Lucasfilm is actually cultivating this new audience that they think they are. I don't think there is actually a groundswell anywhere uh to be really really excited about star wars i think you have some fans and this is so ironic dude like this is like the twilight zone because i feel like i'm like we're in reverse positions to what we were like months ago when we were like arguing about this but i feel like what you have now is a lot of people that are engaging in the star wars brand at a social level meaning they are like farming it for clout karma friends oh. mutuals all these different things okay now what that Right, exactly. And now what that is going to mean is as soon as there's no more hype there, as soon as there's nobody there to actually farm the shit you want, yeah. they will disappear like smoke in the wind. Bro, those yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like I feel like we are on a very fucking bad path. Literally where... it's, it's it's literally all run right now by people who are just getting some free clout and getting clicks and getting views, and it's like I, I kind of miss the old days where it was like there were just a few of us, but it was like it seemed more like genuine fans. It seemed more like real. Now it's just like let me do a trend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let me twirl mm -hmm. a lightsaber half naked. Yeah. Let me like what? Let me engage with the actual Star Wars account on Twitter that's, and clown on people. You that's, know, that's fine, but like I mean, that's it's just doesn't. It's not. It's, it's not work. a good way to run a brand, dude. And they're mistaking, like they're mistaking that movement for progress. They think they're cultivating this great new fan base. I just don't see it, and I've not seen anything no, in the numbers to suggest that, like, they have that. Like, what are what? the sales numbers of the High Republic? Like, you know what I mean? Like, wh like, wh wh do you actually I, I, have? I, I know what a lot of the sales numbers are for their uh, their sequel trilogy merch. Yeah, they're horrible, bro. Like, yeah. It, yeah, horrible, unexistent. I have people so, that work there, and they're like, they're not selling. But then we have shit that's like 30, 20 years old merch, merch designs from the OT and prequels, and those are flying off the shelves, and we can't restock them fast enough. Yeah, like there's a reason for this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just maybe it's a, time. Maybe time needs to pass, and people need to warm up to the the sequels. But, but like, I really don't go think out so. and buy Andor toys. Like, especially if the show is like, it, look, 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 I love you, but it is too early to tell. Mm -hmm. It's You're too right. early to tell with Andor. Yeah. Let's reconvene in, in you know, the in six. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> you're right. You're right. And we'll reconvene on a weekly basis. You know what we'll, I mean? And, we'll, yeah. but, but it's just, it's, it's, look, I even said it myself, like, eh, it was boring. Mm -hmm. Still, I, it was okay, but it was boring as hell. Like, yeah, you know, but it's building a story. I understand what it's doing and I'm, I want to see it through and see what it's all about. And if it's real shit in the end, I'll be like, yeah, what the, what the hell was this? Yeah. It was great. It was like, look, I had a slow burn. Sometimes a slow burn is good. Sometimes it helps to build the story and build the characters and all that stuff and all their struggle. And it's a good thing. You know, fast pace like Kenobi was where they went wrong. Yes, that's you know, true. Fast pace with Kenobi yes. where they were focusing on so many different characters at the same, mainly Reva and Leia. We wanted to focus on goddamn Obi-Wan Kenobi and you guys give us Reva? yeah no one cares we're not here for her yeah 100 percent. so right. i guess uh to take it into the video game perspective when you hear this news in light of all of that and like the way we feel like is this a w is this an l is this kind of like in between or like yeah. believe it when i see it like the fact that they're gonna actually ramp it up and try to do a ton of these games do you see that as a, uh, as a good thing yeah it's a w for sure okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. I, they need I to be hope. bombarding the market. Yeah. Good shit. I agree with that. Good shows, good movies, good animations, and video games. Video games are extremely important. LucasArts was huge. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Those huge. games were massive. I mean, and they're still probably, I mean, if you compare them to other games, like Star Wars games are really, really big. I guess to me, if they can actually do it, like that would be incredible. Right, like if they can actually nail a AAA title a year with that IP, of they can. and then also have like these other things. Well, they definitely can. Like it, they have the 
they're especially because they're not all handling them in, inside internally right that's a lot of these other studios that are developing right but I, but i think again we have to look at the track record of what they've been able to do how many star wars games have been axed partially maybe that's ea and without ea now we have more hope that like other developers will you know take it and run but it's like a, kind of until i see it i i, I just don't know and I also think, too, and yes, this is just me being a little bit bitter about it, but I also feel like this whole mandate thing of like, we want a AAA title every year, that feels like factory shit. You know what I mean? Like, that feels a little bit very product based. You know, we want product out every quarter and shit, oh, which again good. just kind of echoes to that's me good. like some of the issues. So, like, Josh, they have billions of dollars. They're Disney. They, they have just, a lot of money. They just hire a new game company every six months yeah or whatever you know yeah two year and then work two years and have it come out in a couple of years like it, you just i'm not gonna be mad I'll dude i'll be fucking pumped you go, go to this yeah. company go to that there's a million different game companies you go to and you're like look we want to do this game based on this we want to do this game based on that different companies have different specialties yeah and they just focus on that let's do a first person let's do a story-based game let's do a uh, first person shooter let's do a uh role-playing game i don't whatever man like let's do a real-time strategy let's do an rpg i'd love a real-time strategy dude that'd be sick yeah whatever man so whatever. let me ask you this then let me ask you this do you think do you think then that they need to abandon the canon constraints do you think because like in some ways it feels like that's a lot of what held them back these past four or five years with game development particularly like do you think they need to just make star wars games and not worry about the canon yeah why not that's what i'm saying like why not yeah i say just just go with it and make fun stuff like dude um every single week we get a bunch of people talking about sam witwer and um uh freaking crazy game what what's the homie's name i forget what you'd say yeah force unleashed Gallon so Merrick, that, Star Killer. yeah star killer so they made that character made such an impact on the fan base that like people are literally still asking for that dude in live action like every single week so like you know i think just make dope games and and let these creatives just go crazy and don't worry about canon you know what i mean don't worry about fitting it into your overall plan which honestly sucks anyway so just um <laughs> you know just just let them do their thing man damn <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yeah but that's the news i mean look at the end of the day i'm pretty excited for tales of the jedi i'm excited for mando 3 and ahsoka and bad batch and honestly i'm really excited for my my fan film yep me too um there's a ton of different things that i think star wars is going to produce that will be good and you know jedi survivor um i think it's going to be great going forward i think I understand that you're at your wit's end with Star Wars because of everything that's going on and you're expecting Andor to be like running, you know, starting off with a bang. Just like Rogue One did. Yeah. And I myself am confused why it didn't start off with that and have more Star Wars correlation. But I think it eventually will. Um, my only fear is that it'll it'll feel like the sequel sequels where it'll be like a off-brand sci-fi movie with Star Wars names and themes and, and mm -hmm. you know. Yep. But, not so time will yeah. tell wait and see you know what i mean uh just wait and see about it you know and i think that for me it'll be nice to kind of step back a little bit and obviously still engage here and and you know kind of save all of my my thoughts and my star wars stuff just for this show which is which will be nice because i think i just need like a little bit of a break right like um even had uh, Christian Harloff reach out, which was really nice. And, uh, you know, he said a lot of positive things and just because I know he's also gone through his experiences of like, you know, sort of having to deal with the fans when his opinion soured on Star Wars. Right. Hey, he's um, nice yeah. Yeah. Super nice guy. And I think, um, you know, an OG, all respect to him. But I think that, you know, what I told him was I said, I just need a little bit of a break. And I'm still excited for all the Filoni stuff. And I am like, I'm 100 percent like really really excited for it but yep. it's hard to do what i was planning on doing which was like dude weekly content where i'm doing multiple videos and streams about andor i just when i thought about the prospect of doing that with the feeling i have i was like it's probably best to just not do that and try to um you know get more optimism moving forward and not just keep adding to this pile of uh 
you know, negativity because, and the thing that's, I mean, like you said, like there's a lot of hope for the show. It's really early, but besides that, dude, a lot of people really like Andor. Like when I looked out online, when I looked at the comments on my video and everything, like, dude, people really, really like that show. And I'm like, that's them. awesome. If you, didn't, if you didn't like it, then that's, that's all that should matter to you. Right. Yeah. So but I'm ex show. right. Well, I'm still, I'm still not so soured on it that I'm like, I don't want anybody to like it. Like, nah, dude, like I want Star Wars fans to enjoy Star Wars. This for me just really feels like a sort of turning point. I'm hoping they don't just make Star Wars into this um, and, and try to make it this like cyberpunk, hyper realistic HBO thing. You know, when I started the channel, I knew that it was in Disney's hands. And yet one reason why I attribute a lot of my success on YouTube, um, I, I attribute it to this. My mentality when it came to making videos was more so about getting lost in the story of the things that I enjoy about Star Wars. Now, whether it may be me covering legends, things that Disney had nothing to do with, or the things that Disney created that I found to be uh, congruent with what George had created. And I would only choose those things to mainly discuss or talk about. And the things that I didn't really like, I would just kind of pull away from or gloss over and not talk about as passionately. And I think in doing that, it allowed my mind to be much more creative and a lot more positive when it came to talking about Star Wars. So it was like anything I would talk about, I was happy because I was choosing the things that I was happy to talk about. So you disassociating yourself from the things that you're not happy with in the end will give you a, a much more positive outlook on your content your overall work ethic, your output, and your interaction with your fans. And I think somewhere along the way, personally speaking, I became so um, disrespected and uh, let down by a lot of the stories that Disney was releasing. And then when that whole thing with Pablo happened, I took it so personally. Uh, and with people making fun of me for crying uh, for Luke, because I know if I was a girl that I would be praised, I would be called heroic. And I took that so personally that in the end I became so negative and I just really wanted to, to hurt Disney back and Lucasfilm back. And I feel like maybe you're in a place where you're just so disrespected for whatever reason that you're kind of done with Star Wars at the moment and you need to I feel like what would be great for, for your mental health and for your, your content would be to focus on what aspects of Star Wars that you really like, like the old shit, yeah. and maybe just talk about that. Like maybe grab the, uh, the book I got in the corner there, the, the, um, the Making of Revenge of the Sith, Making yeah. of Attack of Clones. Like look through it. Or, um, you know, the visual, the visual um, what was it called? By Paul Duncan, the Star Wars archives. Mm -hmm. one to three and one and yeah. three to six or four to six like these books i feel like are the true essence of stuff that makes me happy yeah right like star wars santa might love talking about the sequels for me it just makes me depressed right yeah right and that will show in the content that i make and 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 i've noticed even in the content that i make i'm like ah, i'm just not feeling it because i don't want to talk about shit that i don't like right so maybe for you you don't need to give up Star Wars. You just need to give up the, the Star Wars stuff that you don't feel is Star Wars that you don't like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fair. And, uh, you know, I thought about it too. Where I was like, well, what do I want to like kind of do? Because I, I I mean, the thing that's so crazy is like I love Star Wars so much. I mean, my dogs are named Luke and Leia. You know what I mean? Like I Star Wars used to be such a, a part of my identity. And obviously, like with what I do and this podcast and, you know, all the different streams and videos throughout the years and i have people that have been supporting me for a long time and they don't really like marvel they, they really like star wars and they're kind of bummed you know what i mean that yeah. like this is this is where we're at and uh i do want to try to think of something like that and figure it out maybe it's even just playing some old star wars games like shadows of the empire and stuff and like going through some of that stuff um but i really kind of think that depending on how you know andor goes and again i'm going to watch it and i'm going to try to keep an open mind I really think it's kind of just up for the next Dave project, bro. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I just, I'm at a place personally where it, it's just, if it's not Dave, 
I don't know that I can trust it. And beyond not being able to trust it, I don't know I can engage with it without bringing the bitterness that I have to it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's definitely a unique experience for me personally, like to get here. But I think that like, I understand what you're saying and, and, and it's good advice. And I mean, like I definitely still want to engage in star Wars and to your other right. point where you're talking about like your, um, fan film, bro, I've been like working, I mean, I'm working on my comic for sure. And I love that sandbox. I think it's really cool, but I've been also like building this new world that feels like my version of star Wars and what I want to do, like the story I would tell with like those kind of themes and that identity. And I find that in it, it, something about where I'm at mentally with star Wars, that makes me really yearn to create my own, to create a more pure version of it. That's less, you know, corporate -y, less product. -y, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. So there is like good that will come out of this um, either way. And I think that, uh, you know, just like a little break is, is fine. It's not the way I saw my year going like, dude, I remember at the beginning of the year, where we were like, bro, we got Kenobi, we've got Bo, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've got Andor, you know what I yeah. mean? And I, I remember just feeling like, dude, it's going to be right. awesome. Like, we'll run watch parties, we'll run breakdowns. It's going to be so, so cool. Never in a million years did I think that Boba was going to be a stinky poo poo turd and Kenobi was going to just destroy me, you know what I mean? And then Andor would be pretty decent. And I'm like, fuck it, I'm fucking Andor, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't know that was going to happen. Um, but alas, like, here we are. And so you know, going forwards, are so are you just not going to cover Star Wars anymore on your channel and only on? Yeah, I mean, I will. I think for me, like, if there's a really big story or something that, like you were saying, that I can get passionate about, something that like kind of excites me, I yeah. would definitely cover it. But uh, I'm not going to do breakdowns of Andor. I'm not going to do watch parties of Andor. Um, and I'm not going to cover anything Star Wars unless I feel a real desire to do it. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm also, yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it's good, you know? Yes, and I, I also want to kind of take, you know, my personal channel in, because even Marvel is like not, like She-Hulk right now ain't it for me. Like She-Hulk, like, that's a oh, whole other discussion. She-Hulk after two episodes. Yeah. Well, those are actually the only two episodes I like is episode one and two. Is it over um, now? No, it's not over now. I mean, it'll still go, and I'll still keep watching it, that and trying to talk about it. But, dude, it got, I think, way worse, you know? Hmm um but like even marvel right like you think about it i don't i'm actually not doing watch parties for she hulk anymore i'm not doing breakdowns for she hulk what am i doing i want to talk about the fucking x-men dude i want to talk about dr yeah, doom yeah. in the comics and shit that i want from that character in the comics do that. yeah do you that know? exactly don't that's what i'm a news guy you know like exactly you, you that's so it. much like, knowledge when it comes to, anyone can be a news guy man like you just, yeah article came out you read it Ooh, yep easy. totally you know like but but it it, it takes intellect and actual f to be a nerd and to be a fan about comics and or, and whatever genre whatever faction to actually talk about the lore behind something um and going way beyond just like reading shit off the internet yeah like so like disseminating your actual relationship your thoughts, with these characters theories, yeah, yeah creating different stories yeah like dude i have said that to you a few years ago that i think i feel like you should cover lore and stuff like that and just enjoy yeah. it and and maybe the views won't be as great as news it never really always yeah. is sometimes it is but i think you'll be happier and yeah I think, definitely I think you'll build a really nice fandom around it of people who really want to come for your content um because they like they like the way you deliver things they like the way yeah. you look at things so yeah. and i yeah, so sorry. it's yeah it's just like a, a sort of sort of turning point you know what i mean in my content creation life but uh I'm actually not bummed about it. Like as weird as it sounds, the day I decided to make that video, I felt like a big weight came off of me. And it, it probably like literally did because I was like dreading doing like fucking nine more weeks of watch parties. Because the problem with the watch party thing is when you're live, like I can't buffer. I don't buffer my feelings well when I'm live, especially when I'm trying to interact with the chat directly. So like I will create, I think, a negative environment during a stream if i'm not feeling a show and i've actually done this with a ton of marvel shows i've done this with a ton of uh star wars shows because i'm a very harsh critic you know what i mean like i'm a very harsh critic and then I, we're, we're we're streaming and everybody shows up because they've been having so much fun with the videos and the other streams and then it comes time to watch the thing and i'm like mm, i don't know you know and, and i just kind of thought well let's just stop doing that you know what i mean if i can't create the environment i want 
for the community in those moments, we need to rethink this. So I ultimately feel good about it. I do feel bad for those hardcore people that want to see all my thoughts on Star Wars. And I will return. But overall, I feel actually positive about the environment. And I also think it's going to create even better nerd theories. Because I'm going to save all my Star Wars juice for money. going to be pent up. You know what I mean? Exactly. I'm going to have like all this. I'm going to be like, here's what I and explode. <laughs> people will be coming into my streams and be like, what do you think about Android? And I'll be like, wait for Monday. You know what I mean? Because like, that's what it is. You know what I mean? And and so, um, yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be fine. Josh saving all you know his juices I mean? for us, chat. Exactly. All the juice. <laughs> I'm going to save that juice. Uh, that's disgusting. Uh, um, once again, you've proved you proved you'll excuse me. Anyway, <laughs> of course. Um, nice. Yeah, well, hey, man, you must you must do what you think is right. Of course. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, best of luck with that. And yeah, I'd love to see some of your lore content coming out if you're going to do that. And yeah, cool. Hell yeah. Neat. Hell yeah. Mm. Neat to the teat. Neat to the teat. What? Yeah. Okay. Well, chat, what do you think? Should we read some super chats or is there anything else? Are there any other news coming out? The only thing, I mean, there was a, there was a kind of crazy leak, I guess, about, um, skeleton crew but i'm kind of not i don't want to touch it like i don't know Ooh. what it means you know what i mean i don't really know so they're definitely shooting it bro you know just cover I mean? everything dude just cover everything give your take man like who cares who cares no, if, I you just, like it? if you don't like it you don't like it yeah i if you don't like dude, it you don't like it don't i don't i get it i no 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 I've so here's my stance don't quit <laughs> i've just, changed my stance just, don't quit just make videos and shit all over it if you want it uh, here's the thing though i that i could do that but that's not what i'm trying to do with the channel and with the community uh, like you, and you're sounding like a separatist because like like look, look, legitimately i actually think it's a more mature way to do it i bet there are people out there that actually don't hate star wars as much as they pretend to on the internet and i bet even those people are getting a little bit tired of it you know what i mean um and and youtube in general and content creation can be very derivative you know what i mean because like especially if you identify what works and you you know what's you know gonna pop or whatever like you just do those things over and over again right and i'm not like totally against it. i'm not trying to deconstruct this whole fucking scene i'm just saying that like when it comes to star wars and me right now i think the mature thing to do unless i want to go full on mm -hmm. hate mm -hmm. is to just kind of say my say my stance when i can and take a step back. I think actually me taking a step back is more of a statement than me making shit on Andor videos each week. You know what I mean? Um, and maybe that's j just me, but I think that's actually a respectful, you know, a statement. You know what I mean? Towards how I actually feel about the I think brand. Think about it too much, you know? Oh, I definitely thought about it way too much. I think you just be like. Yo, like, but that's part of the problem too. Is I need a break because I don't want to think about that shit. No, what, what I'm doing is like, if something you know? comes out and I'm like, okay, check it out. I don't like it. I don't like it. If yeah. I like it, this is cool. Mm. It's that simple. But if you could tell that it wasn't even the thing itself, that it was you, that you were like, maybe, maybe you have this lingering foot injury, okay, and this foot injury is like just so bad. That every time you sit down and try to make something, you're you're shitting on it, getting angry, getting bitter, and you know it's actually just because of your foot. Should you not take a break until your foot heals and then kind of come, you know, back to it? Like that's kind of how I feel. It's like it's yeah, not even Andor's fault because you're, you're being affected by it more so. Right. Like for me, like I'm at this point, I'm just I'm here to give my take on Star Wars as it comes out, as yeah. a, as a fan, as you would in like any comic shop when we were, you know, yep, in the '90s and 2000s, right? No difference. We just have a camera in front of our face now, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to continue to do that. And I think the only way to see change with what you want is to talk about it. Yes. It, it, it's not to, to, to go away and kind of just, you know, keep it to yourself. I think it's to talk about it. I think being respectful and I think, you know, and I've definitely lost my shit in the past. And those were moments where I was uncentered and unbalanced and I can learn from those and maybe approach it from a little more mature manner but at the same time i am a nerd i am a star wars fan i am really passionate about this this is my whole life 
And for me, they got to get shit right. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to be really upset. Yeah, totally. I think uh, I don't want to disappear from the community and I don't want to give this impression that I've completely lost all hope. But I am at a place that I never thought I'd be at. And I think that what's best for me is to just kind of, you know, take this little break or whatever and hopefully be able to come back a little bit more refreshed and be like, yo, here's like the positive things about Star Wars. Here's the negative things about Star Wars and to just call it what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but like, dude, it's I'm just at like a it's it's so clear to me that I can't continue to try to give a fair shake because like in my content one of the things that i like you know i'm like a world famous fence sitter right i want all the people in the room to at least feel heard i'm not going to say i agree with you but i'm going to say that i see you and that i recognize your you know sort of point and perspective on it and it's become just abundantly clear that when it comes to star wars i am unable to do that right now i'm unable to give any um you know, like kind of concessions uh, yeah. to people that are really enjoying that are really enjoying Star Wars that are really enjoying Andor. It's like, like here's here's what it is. Like, kind of like real talk. I fucking hate Andor, bro. I fucking hate that shit. But I also recognize <laughs> that it's not. <laughs> Holy it's shit. not just. It's not just. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not, but I recognize that it's yeah. not just Andor. It's not the show that has done this. But I'm at a place where if you like, I honestly fucking hate this show, bro. Damn. And like, I don't want to be Josh right now from Andor. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, I'm not trying to like, like I'm just trying to keep that hate inside. I'm not gonna let the hate flow. You know what I mean? Oh. I want to, I want to keep it contained a little bit. Josh, um, at the end of the stream, I shouldn't have done that. It's not the Jedi way. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, just give it, dude. Give it some more episodes. I think it'll heat up. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's a snooze fest at the moment, but I think it it has good themes. It has a good trajectory. I see where it's going to go, unless they're like completely stupid. I just mm -hmm. don't think it could fail. I think it's going to. I think it's going to go in the right direction. You know. But yeah, I, hey, just, look, man, you're again, just pulling back the slingshot right now. And look, it's, it's maybe slow that's true. Hell, but yeah, I mean, look, dude, maybe that's true. And I hope it's true. And I hope it like turns or whatever. I mean, to <sighs> me, I just uh, what I saw was this like really fucking pretentious. Like, I, I don't really like Star Wars, Kathy. Well, please, you know, you made this really good Rogue One we, and we're kind of fucked. So come over here and make some really good shit. And he's like, OK, but. I'm going to do it my way. Fuck the force. Fuck all this stupid shit. All those kids like we're making an adult show, you know, like that's well, what it feels like to me. I feel this pretentious well, fucking guy. No. Is like, hey, look, I'm no. just being honest. That's in, how I feel. In, OK, but in all fairness, it's not supposed to be about the force. It's supposed to be about Andor. Brother, I think everything in Star Wars should be about the force. Everything. Not even just in the sense that uh, they need to be a force user. But like, dude, Jin and the crystal and her mother telling her to trust the you. forest and like all this, stuff. bro, like it's, that's what it is. So if you I, strip away the forest, yeah. you strip away the, the, cause what is the forest? It is a fucking fictional manifestation of things that every human being feels that pull to the light, pull to the darkness, morality, power, desire, love, all of these things playing out through the fiction. And you strip that down and you want to focus on a fucking jealousy, love triangle situation. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, yes, it was that's fine. That's fine. It but lame. it's just, that's not what I'm here for. Right. But it, it's just too early. It is that's too early. I'm trying to, it's way, I like, know you're, you're right. Saying this after episode freaking six. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. 100. But it's just too early to tell. Like they're just starting to start. Yeah. Those stupid love triangle. I thought it was ridiculous. And then the dude gets yeeted, like so dumb. But I think yeah. it's it's showing that Andor is uh, a pretty smart guy. That he's pretty ballsy. He went in there, he got that thing, the TS nine or whatever it was. And then the fact that the, the, you you have the, the primo uh, 
core, whatever the primo company, whatever the, these these mall cops, who aren't as lethal as the empire. And I think once the empire comes in, it'll really contrast how absolutely badass the stormtroopers can be and mm -hmm. are because yeah. they're kind of a joke right now. So once you get these guys, and you have to show the difference. I think once you get the stormtroopers coming in, the empire, you're going to be like, oh fuck. Yeah, dude, I hope so. I think it's you just going to take time. And and like, believe me when I say like, even during my live stream, I was like, yo, this is boring as hell. I think it'll be, I, I hope it'll change. I hope, I think. We'll yeah. see. Uh, look, dude, I mean, even if it doesn't, like you said, fucking Dave's still doing shit. Like Tales of the Jedi is around the corner. Yeah. Ahsoka and Mando, like I literally could not be more excited for Ahsoka and Mando. I gotta let this dog out. She's crypt on face. All right. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. By the way, again, shout out to James Earl Jones, who has retired the voice of Darth Vader and uh, signed over the rights to Lucasfilm. So everything you hear from now on regarding his voice will be uh, synthetic. Respeecher technology. Yeah, yeah, I will hope he got uh hope he got paid good and his estate is gonna get checks forever probably now, huh? He probably got royalties forever. Yep, that's good. Good for him. Forever, long after you and I are gone. Yep. It's good. I mean, he is that voice, man. He's it's iconic, you know. He is that voice? He is that voice? It's so iconic. Yeah. yeah. Um Bum, 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 bum. I haven't looked at chat out of fear, but uh, is everybody all mad or how's everybody doing? Are you guys okay? Yeah, chat's chat. Chat's chilling. Yeah. Chat's chilling. I am a senate. <laughs> a lot of you don't like stories. Stuff like that. Uh... What? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Uh... I guess I was wrong. There was no danger at all. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's just say your new name is uh, Wash. <laughs> Wash. Wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit whiny about it, you know? But. I'm not whiny. I just think uh, I think you just keep making your content about Star Wars and just talk about it. There's no problem talking about disliking something respectfully and giving your take on it. Super simple. So you're saying more more. a shit on Star Wars video every day? No, no, no. You don't have to make like a shit on. It. Just be like, yo, like I, I didn't like this because of this, this, and this. It didn't really make sense to me. Yeah, yeah. Super well, easy. I will still, I will still do that. I'll just do that over here. You know what I mean? Until yeah. I. Okay. feel like uh yeah like i can broach it again you know no i feel you dude you got to do what you got to do yeah i fully support you for that you know so thanks man yeah we'll be okay you know um did you get that email i sent which also gives you access to Streamyards as like a um admin oh <laughs> dude what the hell yeah so that like randomly popped up at like 3 a.m and i was like what did the you hell accept it? i didn't i don't know what it is yeah I yeah even... go accept it because then what you can sign in right now and you can you can click you can click um shit too super chats and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Yes, now you're uh, okay. I didn't even know that feature fancy. existed. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, I had no idea what that was. I thought maybe it was uh you've been invited to the team. Except the team. You're now part of the team. Way to end a money making partnership. I mean, this is Star Wars Theory. Um, no, he's not. He's still doing nerd theory. So is this going to be weird if I enter the studio now? I don't know. Try it. I mean, it's going to make me enter again as... Oh, weird. <laughs> it's weird this dude. is getting out of hand. Yeah. Now there are two of them. This oh. is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. So I can do that. And I'll just take this over here. here. Can you like click stuff? I think I can. Let me see. So I just clicked something. It popped up for me, but it didn't pop up on the stream. No. 
Yeah, so it didn't really. Maybe you have to change your uh, your power. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. If I do this, does it do anything? I gave you like the medium tier power. What the? Oh, you can change this shit. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. You can't wait. You can't if I hit this, I just clicked X aces, and it doesn't do anything. It pops it up for me, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't pop it up for you. Nerds, den of nerds. You're as co-host right now, so you, I'm gonna make you can manage members, broadcast, and brands. Okay, you're admin now. Do you want to okay. refresh? Or okay, let's follow? refresh. Boom. Cool. What's up, chat? Am I am I am I good? Am I in? I don't know, you want to click something? Let's click it. No, it's still not doing it, dude. Wow. Like it'll pop, it pops up for me for sure. Like I can see like uh Mr. Morty's is a super sticker. Nerd of the Ring says been a while. What's up, brother? But uh no, nah, it's not doing anything. Wow. Yeah. Well you get demoted to co-host then. Now is your only chance to just yeah. co host. Sucks to suck. Hey, that's weird. I could hear you when you. Oh wait, yeah, that's okay. Wait, what? Whatever. Okay, now I've got the chat open. Go ahead, do your worst, chat. Let me know. How do you feel? Are you fired up, chat? Are let's do it. Let's, before we read super chats, do a poll. Should Josh quit? Should <laughs> Josh quit Star Wars? Yes, no. Ask your community. It pulls up. Thirty-six hundred people here. Two thousand likes. That's pathetic. Yeah, what the hell? Hey, the by the way, X Ace, uh, apparently you were actually banned on my channel, so I unbanned you. I don't know what that was about. Why'd you ban him? I don't think I did. Um, yeah, maybe just a mod fat fingered it or something. I don't know. But I looked at it and I was like, yeah, so I actually got him unbanned. Fat fingered it? Yeah. Uh, how's Liam? Oh, dude, he's good. He's going through a really interesting, like, mental leap. Um, just like actually learning that his body is its own thing and that he's like got his own like, things going on. Yeah. He's trying to like look at stuff like we're taking him around the house and letting him like look at different things. Like today, for whatever reason, the, there's a part of the house that is a wooden ceiling. Yeah. And he was, he just thought it was like the coolest shit ever. And he was just really <laughs> obsessed with it. So yeah, he's, uh, he's developing. He's a little bit more fussy because of that, because he's like, you know, when he gets the hiccups now, he's like, this is not okay. Before he had no real, he didn't understand it. He's like, what? And it? yeah, it would just happen, and he's just like, "I'm just here, I'm just here." But now he's like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, you know what I mean. He's trying to get upset. So, um, now he's good. He's a big, he's a big boy, man. Oh damn, Frost missed the fast past five streams because I got a colon infection, worst experience ever. I hope y'all are doing good. Also, where's the last nerd theory? I wasn't able to get. I hope your colon's doing better now. That's horrible. That is wild. I don't even know what a colon infection is. That just sounds horrible. Colon got infected. But like bacteria. Where? I don't know. Maybe there was like a cut in his colon and like poo got into it and it like infected it. It's possible. Yeah, I guess. Do you know if poo leaks into your body? You're dead. You what? Know? Really? You die. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds horrible though. I hope he's all right. I hope he's all right. Wow. Yeah, Josh, yeah. stop being a baby. Andor is literally good storytelling and doesn't need infinite Easter eggs and world ending stakes like every dog shit Marvel movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Case in point. Case in point with Aaron. No, no. It's like, look, Aaron, you're right. I don't like stories. Damn. I only like uh, fun cameo, uh, multiversal, you know, fun like that. Yeah, so, no, Aaron, fun. I'm. That's I'm sorry. Cool. I'll try to stop being. <laughs> that's one of the best. <laughs> Josh, stop being a baby. Andor's literally just good storytelling and doesn't need infinite Easter eggs and world-ending stakes like every dog shit Marvel loot movie that you love. With peace and love. <laughs> respect. With peace and love and respect. Love hey, thanks, life. Aaron. I love democracy. You know, to be fair, I missed that last part on the first read-through. So now I understand. I understand. And I feel better about it. Okay. Good. So, yeah. Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate it. But Josh appreciate it. <laughs> oh, so Matthew, 
have you guys seen the six thousand piece Lego Razor Crest? It's going to retail for six hundred dollars. Also, thanks to both of you for being so much fun to watch. Uh, I hadn't heard about this. I wonder if they knew about this before John blew it the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, I ordered the Razor Crest like a, like an actual model, and it yeah. took two years to arrive. <laughs> like a year after it blew up. Yeah, awesome. Like, what the hell? I haven't opened it yet because I'm just gonna wait until Mando comes out. Because I hey, it's if it comes, maybe it comes out. Hey, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. What's up, Valkyrie? I played Modern Warfare 2 a little and had a blast. Haven't touched a Call of Duty since the Xbox 360 days. I can't wait for it. Yeah, I really had fun playing it too. Yeah, it's maybe. smooth. Oh, what the f Y'all good? Yeah, I just did that refresh thing, so like should we uh should i show liam so that everybody calms down yeah will everybody be more chill um so 14 so 1500 votes uh 35 percent no it's 35 percent yes you should quit star wars 65 percent mm. no mm. okay we'll revisit this okay super l take josh somebody says in all caps losh uh yes. an, an anatomy mini quiz of the day where in the male body is sperm produced seminiferous tubulus what the fuck I, what the is happening with this guy Wait, epididymis is, he, is she sad is she crying the epididymis mm. i think it's the epididymis Hi. epididymis carries sperm from the Hi. testes which produce it to the vast oh. difference a tube behind the bladder Whoa, did you scratch yourself, buddy? Speaking of sperm, here's what happened. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> did you scratch yourself? You want to tell me about it? What do you think? Do you like Andor? Huh? Mm -hmm. You see how he's like looking around more and stuff? He's like, yeah, yeah, interesting. The world yeah. exists. Yeah. You're beautiful. Yeah. I'll pass you back. Bro, what is this? You only give us like 10 seconds with them? I know. I mean, you know, some people are probably like, you know, so. Who cares? Who yeah. cares what people think? You got to do you. He's a sweetie, though. If they don't like it, there's other channels they can watch. Well, you know, it's not the baby show, but I did want to show him off a little bit because I love him. Hey, He's cute. Maybe this is better. Should I have myself on the right? This does look a little better, just now because we're like both talking. looking. I know, yeah. Whereas before it was like, yeah. Chat, That's what do you look more? Better. Me on the right or left? Huh. Oh yeah, we might have just figured something out. Thanks, Liam. Might have just figured something out. Thanks, Liam. Yeah. Honestly, glad you're taking a stand and being honest. I don't really like Andor right now either. Everybody that's upset about you taking a break is lame. Star Wars has a lot to fix before a bunch of people love it again. Yeah, I mean, I agree, uh, you know, with that. And uh, but I also understand where like other people like the homie are at. Right. Because I do think that it's arguably a way better show than a lot of these other things. So to them, they're probably like, dude, what? Like, what's this guy about? But um. Yeah, I mean, it just is what it is. It's it's just my honest kind of feelings on it. I'm like, ooh, you know. Okay, put a poll up, left or right? Right side? Me on the right side? Me on the left side? Wee, wee, wee. Um, thanks, Smack Daddy. Nice profile picture. Maybe it's just me, but the concept of them pursuing Andor over two cops was so un-Star Wars. People get killed all the time, but they ain't sending whole armies over a dude with just a blaster. Yeah, but I guess that's why this is like the small mall cop kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, that dude is so... He's like that guy at work. The, the I was joking around. I think he's the guy that was a server that gets the job to do like a shift manager on Fridays because there's no managers and they need help. And all of a sudden, like this shift manager person that's still a server is like drunk with power and trying to like enforce the fucking dress code and shit. Like that's who that guy is. So he's just super extra. Um, yeah. And the other Scottish dude was all about it too. Like the Scottish dude was like, absolutely, sir. I think we should do all this just for this guy, you know? So. I think it was a butt plug. <laughs> 
Yo. That was a shill. That guy was a shill. Oh, by the way, that's actually the real reason yes, is that man. the shill checks stopped coming in. Oh, they okay. were like, they were like, I can't believe that you're not going to just take these shill checks for the rest of Amber. Yeah. And they were like, dude, it's over. Like, you made fun of the fucking $5,000 shot, $6,000 hotel. Are you even a fan? Basically. Yeah. Um, so, no well, more shill checks. So. Josh, we're not inviting you to the Star Cruiser Hotel. Yeah, pretty much. That's punishment. Oh, no. I know, right? Well, the angry Star Wars Josh is back. Meh, and we're <laughs> watching Andor. Meh, are you super sure? Was it this? I'm super triggered. Uh, but yeah, I'm still going to watch it. Had a bad day. Forgot it was Nerd Theory Monday. Thanks for making today better. Love you, Josh. See you, Theory, at the next watch party. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow night. Yeah. Have you seen the Ooh. last Star Wars teaser trailer? I know it's a Star Wars. Um, you know, Pedro Pascal isn't really selling the role for me. Interesting. Role. I never, I never, I never, I never played just... those games. So, yeah. Amazing. I mean, I've heard they're really good. I mean, the trailer looked cool to me, but I have no reference. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't play the games, and I was like, yeah. damn, this is very cinematic, you know? Yeah, I, I played The Last of Us when it first came out, and I was like... This is so good. And I remember finishing it. And it was really a nice game, really emotional game. Um, the second one, not so much. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Been watching old videos <clears throat> for years and love the content. Can't wait to see what Andor does, though. So far, it's been mid. Yep. Hopefully it does some dope shit. I mean, I think episode four is at least gonna give us more action. Um, I would predict that, yeah. Bro, Andor is good. No Anakin cameo, and now it's BA. Probably meant bad. Can we stop calling any media that has black or people of color characters woke or political? Not you guys, but that's discourse I always see in the fan base. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think that's fair. Some people are pretty derivative with their takes and whatnot, but they're also rewarded for doing so on social media. So whatever. Can't really, can't really blame them. Josh Josh quit, quit quit no, well, no, 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 he's too good. <laughs> the money's way too good. And also, though, to be fair, like, I honestly just like chilling and talking with theory. And I feel like he's maybe one of the only people right now that I could actually sit down and have this conversation. You know what I mean? Because you said something earlier where you were like, bro, I love you, but it's too early. And like, you're right. But like, if it wasn't you, I don't know that I could just like let it go and not like just. Rah, rah, can't be you know what I mean, Josh? It's too early. I'd be like, shut your wiener gazing face. Shut your fucking God. mouth. Ah! And you know what I mean? That's the best Star Wars we've had yeah. since ever. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, I think that uh, this is where I'll just kind of stick my Star Wars flag into the ground, and then hopefully, like you know, we just the next thing, um, boom, I'm back, baby. Like Tails. I'm going to watch Tails, you know. B-Man says, as much as I want to see Andor, I just can't. Seeing Andor showrunner Tony Gilroy proudly saying there's no fan service in an interview and posting everywhere rub me the wrong way. I stand by Josh. Yeah, man. I think a lot of people are feeling that for sure. It's just, it's irritating. Why make that the way you're promoting Mm-hmm. Andrew's a good show, but it's definitely not Star Wars. Let's give it some time. Yeah, the first three episodes were snoozy, but let's give it some time. You know me, I'm the most critical with it, but yeah. Lucasfilm got to chill with the modern music. Stick with <laughs> Yeah, dude. The, the freaking uh, the drums at the end. What the hell? Dude. How do yeah. you go from Rogue One to, to doing stuff like that? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> i'm a cool guy walking from explosion exactly dude it's like so weird so weird yep what the fuck is wrong with chat tonight w for josh not l oh hey man like dude we i mean we knew what it was gonna be you know what i mean we knew it's gonna oh. be divided feelings and i get it i i'm honestly i don't i'm not even like hating like i i do actually get it uh it's just i want to limit my engagement with it you know what I mean? That's all. That's all it is. Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's for you. I am that's very for excited for it. 
I'm very excited for it. I don't know how it's going to work with... I mean, obviously, Kratos can't lose to to uh, Thor. But um, after this, apparently, they're going to go to Egypt mythology. Supposedly. So. Really? That's what, that's... that's what Barlog was saying in like an interview a while ago. He's like, we'd love to... Um, um, dive into Egyptian mythology or something like, like Horus and Set and all that. Dude, imagine, like, yeah, it'd be cool. The, the Norse arc is done, hmm. so uh, sorry, the the Greek arc is done. Hmm. So now it's um, Norse. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm digging it. I think that'll be cool. I want to know how the story goes, even though I won't play it. So maybe I'll watch some vids. Stopping by to hope you guys are doing well. Currently watching football and wrestling. Hopefully, still be live by then, or I'll watch the replay later. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Dakota Scorpio. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I fell asleep while drinking coffee in Andor episode two. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Nick? <laughs> What's up? How you doing, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cannot wait on Vader episode two. Theory and Joshua Andor stream was tight, family. You guys genuinely do so much for the community. Love y'all. Yo, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. We appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to join right now is the time to become a member. Uh, I'm dropping a lot of the early stuff for Vader episode two for members only. And you guys are really enjoying it. So um let me give you a little sneak peek. Sneak that peek, bro. Little sneak peek. Um, is it? No, peek that sneak. Yeah, so I mean, whoa, yeah, just for joint members and shit. Like, there's stuff dropping all the time. Um, for y'all, like updates and stuff. It's um, cool, man. Yeah, behind the scenes, you know. Yeah, a little behind the scenes. You know, it's always it's always trying to, to give you guys exclusive stuff for supporting the channel and everything. And um, you know, all the money goes towards new sabers for my saber company, and also for obviously episode two. So, and I'm still trying to do once upon a theory. I mean, there's a lot of money being spent, so I appreciate you guys' support. So hopefully, it'll give you guys some good content. Hell yeah. So right now we're in the process of hiring three storyboard artists and um, from there then we will begin. It just takes time. I just want to make sure the script is really thought out like in terms of the storyboard because the script's done now. So I want to make sure it like reflects really well on paper because that's yeah. what's going to be given to the VFX guys, the team. 100%. I'm working on sense. Madam Web movie right now and script supervisor Dawn Gilliam is the same for JJ's SW movies. She's directly responsible for that mess and this movie ain't looking good either and Dakota hates it. I mean, I believe it. You know what I mean? I don't know. You're just an unverified person so I got to take it with a massive grain of salt. No offense, Francis. But uh, yeah, I mean, everything I've heard about that movie is that they have no idea what the fuck that movie is. Movie? And uh, the a Madam Web movie, Sony's trying to make a madam web movie which will tie together all of their spider multiverse and shit like that but i mean yeah yeah i've heard i've heard similar things francis so i wouldn't be surprised i think that movie is gonna be booty cheeks pretty bad well, that's unfortunate mm. thanks for the 9.99 francis uh josh and i appreciate it yeah for sure appreciate you man appreciate you Theory, I love your channel, but keep the same energy. Your energy was off from the beginning of the watch party till the bitter end. Sorry, no Anakin. What does uh, that mean? No, I disagree. I don't think it was off at all. I think I was just viewing and watching the show. Yeah. Don't think it was off at all. Like, you know, I know a lot of you may be new to the channel and all that, but I feel like I am very sincere with you guys. So, like, if I'm really excited for something, you're going to see it in my face. If I'm just like meh about something, then you're going to see it in my face. Um, I'll never try to sugarcoat it. I'll never try to lie to you guys and fake stuff. I'm just me. And if you vibe with it, you like that, cool. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm not here to get anything from you. I'm just here to give my take on Star Wars and connect with you guys as a human, as a, as a natural person, as a fan, you know? So it is what it is. Also, I have resting bitch face. So, mm. yeah. Yep. Makes it's sense. not something I can control. It's just the way my face 
I'm right. not going to lie. Star Wars fans and Lord of the Rings fans piss me off. Yeah, fan bases can be very passionate. You know, I think that that word toxic gets thrown around a lot. I mean, you know, look, I'm not trying to like go super hard on it, but I do think that the Star Wars fan base is kind of uniquely broken. Um, but that's not even all on the fans. Like, that's a lot of Lucasfilm. Like, Lucasfilm did a terrible job shepherding the community over the last five, broken. six years. I really don't. I don't think the fandom is broken at all. I just think the fandom has, like, this weird perception of people doing this toxic positivity crap where you can't have an opinion. Mm -hmm. And then I think on the other side, there's a bunch of uh, very passionate Star Wars fans who are elitist and gatekeepers. And it, it literally happens on both ends. Yeah, for uh, sure. People just gatekeeping Star Wars. And it's like, can you guys just shut the hell up and just let let it be? Like if people yeah. like it, they like it. If they don't like it, they don't like it. That's it. it yeah, dude, I, th I think we're both we both see it the same way, at least as far as what the problems are. Maybe you just think that it's like a small group of people or like that the majority of the fan base is fine. I feel like it's a little bit more prevalent, I guess. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's Dog, like it, since, since I've been off Twitter, man, I don't see any of that shit. And like, true, true. All I see is my chat. It's great. I get you. It's awesome. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Don't know. Just delete Twitter, bro. I don't need it. Oh, dude, I it's, love it's, Twitter. It's, I, look, it's literally a spot where people go to just complain and bitch and hide behind a keyboard. There's there's definitely a lot of that, but I just I've literally curated my Twitter experience to be actually pretty chill and positive. Like I actually just mute a bunch of people that I don't like, even people that I aren't like even interacting with me. Like if I see like one of those tweets where like uh, this is going to piss off all the right people and I can't wait muted. You know what I mean? Like I just literally I'm curating an experience for myself on Twitter and I actually think it's pretty positive. I have a lot of good yeah. engagement on on the platform. Yeah. I, I just really do think um, I think the Star Wars fan base is broken. And I think that um, mm. Lucasfilm played a big part in doing that. I mean, you know, we just I think we just probably see that differently. Um, no, we agree in that sense that Lucasfilm did create a massive yeah. rift. Mm -hmm. And just their handling of fans in general, I think, is piss poor. And I think they need a proper lesson on how to how to uh, treat their fans nicely. Yeah it's it's rare to see a fan base or rather a company that's actually handling their own fan base really really well um this, uh, it's just like rare sonic, sonic for sure for yeah. sure dude yeah. yeah they did a good job um some gaming companies do a decent job mm -hmm. um but yeah it's like people don't want to adjust to like what the modern era is and, and what that means for discourse cd project red i think rockstar i think they're mm -hmm. pretty good with fans yeah no i think that's probably fair My knowledge yeah. 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 Well, oh well. Yeah. Hunger Life Star Wars fans and Lord of the Rings. Okay. Sajid. Hey, bros. Great night with my Cowboys playing plus nerd theory. I see where Josh is coming from, but I'm still mostly optimistic going forward. More action. Understood. Appreciate it, man. Well said. The way they're handling the She Hulk backlash is mind blowing. Yeah. What Dude. are you saying about that? Well, so that it. wasn't even an official account. I know everybody's all butthurt about that thing, but that's not an official yeah. account. There was like a, some She-Hulk fan account that was like, sorry, incels, She-Hulk's not for you. And like, dude, I fucking hate that energy. I hate that fucking energy. It's so stupid to me. But that wasn't an official account. I will say, though, that Jessica Gao has, in my opinion, said a lot of very stupid things You're when Jessica trying Gow? to... She's the head writer. She has oh. said some really stupid things trying to promote the show and talk about the show but i don't think any of them are very i don't think any of them were like people just don't like she hulk because she's a girl like you know re remember like oh, fucking, why, why was it jj a was doing comic. that exactly yeah, I mean, she, she hulk in the comics is fun dude you know maybe she hulk should also have fun like in her own show <laughs> i feel like nobody's having fun with she hulk like none of the characters, none of the audience. Like it's weird. Strange clouds says Josh. Your video on Andor is ridiculous. It's not supposed to be regular Star Wars show with music and sky wizards. I think you totally missed the mark. Hey, respectfully disagree. Yeah, I don't think that's Josh's issue. No. Look, I mean, to be honest, like if what well, we just spent you, two hours talking about, so. right? Exactly. It's like if you don't feel that way and you like what this is, and it's 
that's cool and enjoyable and i'm very happy for you but uh yeah i just i just really don't and it misses a fundamental mark for me but uh yeah i understand hey get it out of your system let me know how you feel i get it we cannot wait on episode two check out the channel with the anakin graflex bro joshua and joshua and or watch party was not was so not tight. Much love, boys. <laughs> Didn't that like the opposite of what he said last time? I thought he said it was tight. He said it was tight. Sheesh. Switching it up. A little so yep. true. Mm -hmm. Some what if ideas. What if Chewbacca didn't meet Han before their mission in episode four? What if Vader killed Luke in five? What if Luke killed Vader in five? Okay. What if Luke killed Vader in five would never have happened? But I mean, doing a what if would be interesting. Mm. Yeah. It would be. It would. Maybe the worst take Josh of all with maybe the worst take of all town clown. It's all good, Dr. Gray. I understand your opinion. Hi, Georgie. Obviously, the biggest thing that Disney not only hasn't captured but won't be able to capture is the vibe of George Lucas's work. Dave is close, though. Yep, I agree. I agree with that. Alter the wise, always the wise. Alter. How is this not Star Wars when George created the Star Wars Underground show? See, like, with all due respect to Aaron, these are the kind of questions that, like, are why I need to limit my interaction. Because, like, I, I, I don't even know what you're trying to say with this statement. Like, we have no idea what the Underground show was. But I can guarantee you it would have been way more like Star Wars than what Andor was. Yeah, it would have been dope. It's like, going to have, like, young Boba and stuff. This is like a really derivative, ridiculous point, in my opinion. Like, I, I, I don't even know what you're saying here. You know? So. Thanks for keeping us all entertained and sane. You guys are the best. Thanks, Life Miller. Right on, Life Miller. Sick collection you got. There. Appreciate you. Arlo! Appreciate you, man. Thanks for the episodes, guys. Thank you, bro. Script Disney, Script show, Disney easy shows. To easy to spot yep. in the comments. Yeah, maybe. I like that uh, profile picture, too. X Ace says, I don't disagree with Josh. It's a six out of ten for me. I've tried my best to stay invested in Andor, let alone any Star Wars content currently. I'm more intrigued with books, specifically the Thrawn books, which to me is a letdown. Yep, I do totally understand. I'm at a very similar place. And I think it's just like death by a thousand cuts. It's just a lot of little things that now I'm unable to separate from the experience I have when I sit down to watch something. So I give it a six out of ten too. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Thank you for always providing great content. Will this video be available tomorrow? Please, maybe, perhaps. Yep, it'll be available on Spotify forever. So go to my Spotify at Star Wars Theory on Spotify, and uh, you'll be able to find it. Yeah. Yeah. Josh. You are right about the tone of Star Wars. Without the music of John Williams is Blade Runner, which I love. New Star Trek, which is totally fun, but isn't Star Wars. It isn't fun. It's too serious. Yeah, I am sure that there are people that see what I'm saying and that agree with it. You know, I was thinking about this earlier, man. I'd love to get like Dave to give me like his honest thoughts because I keep going back to that conversation that I literally had with the dude. You know, it was like, God, it was a long time ago at this point. It was like almost 10 years ago. You know what I mean? But I just can't imagine that somebody that actually understands the sensibilities of Star Wars and spent so much time studying at the feet of George Lucas could actually like look at what Andor is and be positive about it. Like, I just have trouble imagining that. Maybe from the perspective of this is just one slice or one um, flavor in a series of flavors. Like, I could accept that. But to me, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys would always say to me, Marvel and Star Wars are not the same. And I agree. I feel like Star Wars has a very unique tone and it can't go outside of it too much. You know, Marvel can be all kinds of different things. Because in the comics, you have all kinds of different comics. All kinds of different characters. Supernatural, multiversal anti-hero you have all these different things but star wars i don't think so i think star wars is a particular flavor i think star wars is a particular tone it's a particular kind of thing and to me i think that uh andor doesn't even it feels like andor is not even interested 
in broaching the stratosphere of that tone of that thing and it wants to be its own thing and it wants to mature star wars take star wars into the future etc cetera, etc cetera. um and it's just so it is like an antithesis to how i feel about star wars what i desire from star wars you know um as i said i fucking hate this show bro i hate it and i hate everything it stands for So there you go. And there it is. Come on, man. Hey, look what you want me to say. That's what it is. I feel like, oh man, see this. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to go too hard. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be chill about this. I'm trying to be chill about this. I'll still watch your vids. Hey, thanks, Sugar. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm actually not sure about that. Go hard. That's as hard as I can go. That's as hard as I can go. Uh, if that's how it's be, then that's how it be. Yep, 100%. Werewolf by Night looks sick. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to dress up in a costume for Werewolf by Night and do a little like Halloween themed watch party. So uh, look out for that. Oh, thanks, Chaco. Appreciate it. Josh being naughty while theory's gone. No, I caught myself. I caught myself. I, I was like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, don't, uh, yeah, don't go too hard. You know, can you make some shorter House of the Dragon reviews? I'm thinking about it. I, I definitely love House of the Dragon. I love what's going on with game of thrones I, it's kind of mind-blowing like i can't believe that game of thrones is back better than ever and star wars is where it is at but um yeah I, i've been trying to figure out how to make new um uh house of the dragon videos and i do want to say too that i appreciate everybody that watches that watched the the x-men video i dropped after the star wars video that video is like doing just as well if not better than the andor video and it was cool to like pivot into like comic book lore and have it you know kind of blow up as well so uh i think we got some some cool stuff to do thanks for holding it down yeah no worries yo x ace i did like it and also you're unbanned on the for the nerd ventures and uh, i don't know what happened there is there anything outside of the jedi skywalker saga isn't considered star wars bring up dave's work isn't a fair comparison yeah i don't know that, that feels like a i mean it's honestly not that if, it's, it feels like a chatbot. Yeah, this feels like, like a chatbot answer. Like, ever say that? Yeah, I'm not. This, that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Good morning, guys. Excited for tonight's show and the many conversations to be had. Have you heard about Disney wanting to push to? Yep, yeah, we already talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked old, about. It. That's how far back we are. Damn. Damn. So that's probably see the last of us trailer. Looks dope. Yeah, I think it looks good, but I don't have it attached to the game. You were saying that doesn't feel he doesn't feel like the main I character. I watched only a little bit and then I just like scrolled. Mm. Darth Moth says there you Josh. The right, right, right choice. I think it should have been Hugh Jackman or um mm. someone else. Logan older, a little more grizzled. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really I never play the game, so where do you think you would align if you were in the Game of Thrones universe? Lannister, Stark, Targaryen? Bolton, Baratheon, and why? Oh, I'd be a Stark for sure. Um, I mean, I'm I'm literally from the north. So are you. Mm -hmm. Um, and actually we were joking about it too because it's starting to get real chilly where we where we live. And I was just like, look, like Liam's gonna have his first winter and he's gonna get that like deep chill in his bones, you know? And uh yeah, so there's just something about being from the north and some of the pride that comes with weathering the harsh cold climate um yeah i'd be a stark what about you i'd be a dragon do you be a targaryen no i have to be a dragon you'd be an actual dragon yeah sick i'm changing my answer to that actually I'll just fly away <laughs> y'all can have your little wars i'm just gonna yeah so what, what if, if i oh we actually read this 
Or maybe he sent it twice. He sent it twice. He's, yeah. he's just showering us with cash. Damn, Peter B. Thanks, bro. Looks like Uncle Ben lent, lent, lent him a lot of uh, money. Yeah. Probably did. Before he got shot. <laughs> Might have missed it. What happened last two weeks stream? I don't know, bro. Go back. For two bucks? X Ace? What do you think this yeah, is? Yeah, X Ace. What the hell, bro? Dude, what the fuck? Uh, Ryan says, Happy Monday, lads. Love donating, knowing my money is going towards fan films and great content. Hype for Tales of the Jedi. I know both of you are. Yes, we are. Uh, just an appreciation dono. Keep doing what you do. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it, man. I'm about it. Give me that, Dave. Give me that good, good. Wait, what? Oh, the third gather backstroke of the what? Yeah. Absolutely. I ain't going to use too many brain cells for two bucks. Sorry. <laughs> Profile pick oh. is me and my friend Mando cosplay. Nice. Oh, looks, cool. looks good. Hey. Yeah. Looks cool. Did you guys make those? Uh, Coach Remake is delayed, not canceled. Sure. If that's what you got from that, bro, you need to yeah. wake up and smell the coffee, Mr. LaRusso. I mean, it might eventually still come out. They did push it to a new studio, but, bro, that shit ain't coming out anytime soon. Like, yeah, it's going to be like four or five years at least yeah. before you even got hear it. it again. 100%. Yeah. If they keep canceling games, it makes it, yeah. Yeah, totally. Yep. Yep. Memes save the prequels more than anything else. Memes are a good part of it, but uh, I don't think they save the movie. No. I like those movies, bro. Prequels are sick. Josh, Josh, Josh. Wait, Josh isn't leaving Nerd Theory, right? I just watched his video, but I forget if he said he was leaving or not. No, I'm not leaving. I even said that in the video. I was like, no, I'm not going to stop doing Nerd Theory. I just want to, on my channels, take a step back. And oh. that's just so that I don't snap on a Nerd Theory. You know what I mean? So. Dude, when you snap, it makes for great content. Like when you <laughs> I know, but... uh don't worry, I feel like it's inevitable. We'll go. We'll, it we'll gets get clipped and it, it, it helps. I know. What I know. Getting here. Josh yields Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars has won. Star Wars is like it's like that uh scene in The Last Samurai where Tom Cruise is trying to what get the, the homie with the Bocon and he just keeps getting whacked. And like this that last Andor was that last blow that he did on him on his back, and he's just like <laughs> on the ground. That's me. I'm like in the mud. Uh, theory, you would get like five mil likes and 18.3 million views if you spun your lightsaber G string on a TikTok to some make the stallion in the background. Do it. I'm good, bro. I'll I'll <laughs> I'll hit those five million views doing something actual Star Wars. Yeah. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the modern, modern world, world, bro. Complete nothing, does it? True. No. A children's story can only be enjoyed by children. Is not a good children's story in the slightest. C.S. Lewis. I agree with that. I agree with that. Hundred percent. If I front you ten million USD, will Theory do a half naked TikTok saber troll vid on TikTok and Josh shave his head? Yes. Ten million dollars. I would do a million that. dollars, bro. I'll do it naked. I would do it probably still clothes, but I would do it. You know, I'd be like, all right, cool. 10 million. Let's go. 10 million. I'll upload a sex tape. <laughs> right. For $10 million. And we could do a rate of reality show where we actually try to like break into Lucasfilm and Josh upload a video. How Liam was made. <laughs> <laughs> Full breakdown. Explain. <laughs> oh, jeez. You won't believe. <laughs> OG prequel old head here. Wouldn't it be smart if Disney split the brand to appease both audiences? Content for new heads, content for us. But for the love of God, let Filoni take the latter. LOL. I don't know if that would do it or not. I mean, I like the creativity of it, but I mean, nah, bro. Nah, man. Just make... Just make good Star Wars. The story's made by Dave. Made by Dave. Yeah. Yeah. He must have a good idea. I want to yeah, I think he like gets it, which I didn't know was that rare. Um, uh, because Josh showed his nipple. Yeah, dude. 
I was like, y'all want to see my nipple ring? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> a little too freaky. A little too mm-hmm. after hours kind of thing. Watched almost Watch every series every... since it started. Wanted to thank you both for bringing an entertaining, insightful show about Star Wars and life. I've learned a lot in both areas from watching. it. Dude, that's probably that's probably the nicest super chat we've had about nerd theory. Probably. It's very sweet, AJ. Thank you. It's like to the point. It's thank you, AJ. Yeah. Actually made our day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's really nice of you. Appreciate I would love to just have a show where you and I just talk about everything. Not not just not Star Wars related. Everything. Right. Just life. But I think that to his point, we do that. Like we get off topic. We'll talk about like real stuff. Yeah. And some sometimes those are like the, the best moments in the show. Yeah. And uh it's obviously resonated with AJ and I think it's resonated with other people as well. So chat together I mean, when we sometimes uh segue and talk about other stuff to do with life and whatever. That's another reason why I didn't want to leave the show where I was like, no, nah, like, dude, we are actually I think beyond Star Wars doing some incredible content. Yeah. And I think that, you know, even when it's really goofy and silly, that shit's awesome. Uh, when we get really serious, like that shit's awesome. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's really good stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. Chat. OK, cool. Well, I'm happy to see some yeses. Uh, 2,699 likes. Whoever gets to whoever gets that one to 2,700 wins a imaginary cookie. Mm. So claim it now before what kind of cookie. Whatever you want it to be. That's the magic about it. It's still 2,699. Someone can claim that right now. But what if it's oatmeal raisin? It, whatever they want. It could be a monster cookie. It could be... Why, it's over 2,700. <laughs> My plan worked. You fools! You fools! <laughs> Anyways. Uh, character progression for characters that are going to die. Yoda, Obi Wan, Kylo, Luke, Mace, Anakin. What are you talking about? What? Um, yes. So, um, there's quite a difference between Yoda, Obi Wan, Kylo, Luke, Mace, and Anakin, um, compared to the one dude that was in a love triangle with Andor and his ex girlfriend. Who died in the second episode or third episode? I think there's a little bit of a difference there. Yeah, I think it's a big old difference. A little bit. <clears throat> it's like, you know what else is kind of ironic about what he's saying? The only one of those people that's actually dead is Mace. <clears throat> you don't say that. Well, all the rest of them are Force Ghosts or whatever Kylo. Is I mean I guess for now Kylo's dead, but nah, bro. <clears throat> I think he's coming back. Yeah, he's probably coming back. Yeah, Valkyrie. Is it wrong? Okay, the only woman in our Star Wars <laughs> I know, right? Uh, is, is it the wrong? Here? Say Type it? W if you're a woman. I actually saw I saw some at least that I think are women. We we right? have we have some yeah, but yeah. Is it wrong to say the Star Wars books, comics, graphic novels have been killing it compared to the Star Wars other Star Wars media? No, I don't think that's wrong at all. I actually think that was what was going on almost the entire sequel trilogy. There were incredible books. Like, there were incredible comics. There were people making really good shit. Um, and it just came to the movies, and they were like, hey, ignore all that. You know what I mean? It was like wild. Okay, now we all capping. People just randomly dropping Ws. Yeah, you freaking buttholes. Look at all these win man it was imposters okay i think andor has been a little boring with an interesting story so far with that being said where the heck is my old republic series yeah where is it i don't know i don't know but i'd like for it to show up where'd you go Star Wars has been dead for me since Kenobi. My investment is gone, and I don't like the shows. That's why I didn't watch Andor. Love you both. Mad respect for both of you. Good luck on the fan film theory. Yo, can we do like a Migos thing where like sometimes you, you know, just like back it up? Like you'll be like, Star Wars has been dead, and I'll be like, dead. <laughs> yes. I don't know what the Migos are, but yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay. I've been watching Gundam lore videos and grinding on this game, bro. All right. What game? Gundam Evolution. Okay. Oh, it's so good. 
<laughs> it's so good. And then watching House of the Dragon and just being like this. I still haven't seen it yet. Oh my god, dude, it's so good. Is it is it Game of Thrones level? It's better than Thrones. Whoa. Yep, hundred percent. It's better than Thrones. You think it's gonna be the new thing? Dude, it's averaging 30 million people watching each episode. Shut your face. Dude, it's crazy. Which, by the way, Amazon hasn't said shit about these last couple of weeks of Rings of Power. And we don't have to go there. But yeah, dude, Game of the fucking House of the Dragon is absolutely dominating it. I think the show's it's I think it's literally better than Thrones maybe ever was, but definitely better than most of Thrones. Like there's incredible Game of Thrones moments. Like, don't get me wrong. There's a reason. The last season was such a letdown because there were parts that were so good. Um, but House of the Dragon is unbelievable. The only thing that I could see with some fans is that it is not as action heavy. And so maybe they would say it's a little boring, but those people don't like fucking stories. You know what I mean? Uh, and so it, and by the way, the, it's all heading towards this huge, massive rebellion with it's going to be all out war. Pretty yeah, you, much. Just, you just did what people do to you. I know. <laughs> Hypocrisy on full display. Full yeah. display. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's go. Like Let's the go. Migos. Let the Migos. Like the Migo brothers. Like the Migo brothers. Are they brothers? I just threw that out there. Next question. Um, straight up Josh defend your channel because of nerd theory so I've loved your Star Wars takes but at the end of the day it's your channel so I want you to do what makes you happy love your Marvel takes thanks Brandon appreciate it and we'll be back baby we'll be back at it maybe tomorrow with a I changed my mind video uh, Losh Lucas oh thanks buddy thank uh, oh thank god literally Josh will still be here yes I will literally yeah. still be here yeah yes. I really love Andor. The beautiful new world, the environment is amazing. I'm loving the 007 James Bond feel in Star Wars. It feels new. It certainly feels new. And it just doesn't work for me, but I'm happy that uh happy that you're loving it. Loving it. <laughs> is that really a thing? Like who are these Migo people? Oh, really sure just... what the Go search up their Migos right now. They're real popular. Is it the Island Boys or not? Nah? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. What? No, dude. I don't know things. Oh, Quavo, bro. Huncho, like, oh, like it's 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 no. Mm -mm. Damn. So they're not those two dudes that look like the Simpsons pineapple. character with the pineapple hair. No. Okay, Sideshow Bob, I think is his name. No. Hmm. Okay. I hope they come back, Island Boys. I hope they like make some more hits. I didn't know they went away. Well, I haven't seen any new songs yet. I'm a fan, dude. Yeah, well, I thought they oh, looked yeah. fu funny, so I was oh, a fan of that. Don't we all? Yeah, true. True, double true. Don't we all? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Slow bros. Josh, the way you feel about Star Wars is how I feel about Marvel. I think mm -hmm. Star Wars is in a better position currently because I do like Andor. Yeah, I mean, obviously I disagree, but I also have empathy for how people feel about Marvel currently. And I definitely understand that Marvel is not operating at a level that it was. But we're literally a year away from Spider-Man No Way Home, which I think everybody loved. I loved Multiverse of Madness. And I just like, tell me the last time that Star Wars has done anything like that. You know, it was the end of Mando season two, which is what, two years ago now? Three years ago now? It's two years ago. You know? Man, I need some effing Star Wars video games. Star Wars video games, good. Vader 2 is the only Star Wars thing I'm excited for. Then become a member. I don't see the membership next to your name. Yeah, bro. 99 cents, you. bro. Like, like you find that in a, you find, you find that walking outside. On the floor yes. 99 yes. cents and i, I only get 70 cents in, that. yeah dude check your couch 79 cents of that you know go uh, freaking cut a couple lawns 99 cents dude a dollar skip one super sizing of your mcdonald's meal a month that's it like you won't even see that 99 cents yeah dude but i need it 
<laughs> I think George would say he likes Andor. It's creative, artistic, digs deeper into the universe. And despite what is being said, I think that it does feel like Star Wars. Understood. Understood. Pre well, appreciate your I opinion. Don't know what he would think of it. My worthy apprentice. The thumbnail threw me off. I just thought I thought Josh was leaving Nerd Theory. I'm happy. Theory and Josh made this podcast. You guys make my day go by quick. Thanks, guys. No, he's not he's not leaving Nerd Theory. He's saying goodbye to Star Wars. Yeah. Just for now. Just a little just goodbye. But he's still going to be covering every week with us. But <laughs> I guess you won't know. Will you still keep up with it? What, Andor? Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I'll definitely... I don't know if I'll watch it the first day it comes out, but I'll watch it before um, Nerd Theory, 100%. Yeah. You're toxic. Ah. Toxic! He feels about Andor like I feel about him. Right on, dude. I'm confused. That means, my man. I see a membership, though. I appreciate you. But, yeah, can you elaborate? I'm a little confused. Let's go, Josh. Become the Andrew Tate of Star Wars? Oh, God. No, thanks. I'm good. Um, The Akinator. Lol, I stopped watching this channel as much because Theory seems like he's coming full of himself. And I joined this stream to see him bitching at a guy that donated to him for not being a member. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you here and why are you not a member? Yeah. What the hell? Pro. Sheesh. Yeah, you can only come back when you're a member. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Let's go, Josh. Become the entry. <laughs> <laughs> I always <laughs> wondered what Vader thought when he saw Ezra pop up through a portal in the Sith Temple and save Ahsoka and why he never used it for Padme. Thanks, guys. Because he had actually attempted to do that before with Momin. So he's already seen people come through portals and shit at this point. Yeah, but that shit was that was that was totally different. That portal was very strange. Yeah, but wasn't he attempting to use it to like bring Padme through? Um, was... yeah, it was like a gate. It wasn't really a portal. It was like a gate. Um, uh, it was like a portal gate esque. But then he went in there, and they were all weird. And she was like demonized. Hmm. They were, like black eyes. And then yeah, she threw I... herself off a balcony. Damn. Cold as ice. Um. Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like he already had some experiences with that kind of stuff, but I'm sure it was still like a what the fuck moment. Faux show. Faux show. Probably, dude. Imagine seeing a hand like. I know, right? Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to know what he saw exactly, but. Andor equal Titanic. We know how it ends. I mean, that's certainly true, but that doesn't necessarily mean it can't be good. I mean, we knew how the prequels were going. Yeah, I was just going to say, we knew how the original trilogy. Mm -hmm. I don't like Andor, but Bix is hot, so whatever. Hell yeah, Darth Karen. Get it. $50 from Richard says, Lucasfilm has clearly thrown its reputation and money behind Grogu. Obi-Wan was maybe the most anticipated show of all time. And the fact that the production quality was not what it could have been is a clear sign of where they are at. Yep. I agree. Yo, Richard! Appreciate you, Richard. Very generous. Yeah, I don't know. They're dropping the ball, man. Mm. Pretty simple. Crap Thank all you. over it, Top J! Ah! Appreciate you, bro. I'm crapping on it an adequate amount. I feel like this Josh is review of Andrew right. Disney. Your art sucks. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Uh, do you guys think a movie about Rodonia, Dathomir, and the Night Sisters would do well? Or is it better for animation? I think animation. Yeah, I'd say animation would kind of have a built in connection because of how those characters were explored in Clone Wars, etc. But I actually think that rather than do a whole show or movie focusing on them like for instance um like accolade dude i'd love to see some night sister action or something like because i've always thought that was fascinating the way that Towson and those people think of the force and use the force differently i always thought the wills were really interesting and maybe they use the force differently than the jedi so they just use magic yeah like, dude but force magic is sick dude like i i just i like that i think that'd be kind of cool magic. 
No, it's force. It's a force. Bro, it's green. <laughs> yeah. Well, Palpatine uses ma that magic as well. He uses the blue flames to be able to like, enter. Uh, he's got that like, cauldron, right? Yeah, that was like some Sith magic, I feel like. But this is like something else. I don't think it's Sith. It's just like. No, it's not Sith. But it is dark side, I would argue. I would argue it's it's the it is essentially dark side because it's the it, it feels like corruption you know like, i don't think it has anything to do with the the force i think it's just like an, another thing i think it's just you don't stealth. think it's force magic really because i i, I just so. dude she constructs his legs out of nothing the force can't do that she literally made metal legs out of nothing i just don't remember her making the metal legs remember when he was on the table Dathomir magic. Yeah, it's different. I don't think it has anything to do with the Force. Like you're with Josh, and chat needs to stop hating. We can all have our own opinions. It's true. We can. Yeah, I just always thought it was a just an interesting way to manifest the Force. Oh, interesting. Practitioners of Dathomir magic believe themselves to be casting spells rather than making use of the Force. And often we're unable to make use of a spell without speaking its assigned name or performing the ritual, the singing, dancing, or chanting. The knights just often attribute just the work of the forest to the spirits instead. That's interesting. So perhaps you're right. Perhaps it's just magic. Of course I'm right. You know who I am, bro? Oh I'm my god! I'm Star Wars theory. I have 3.3 million subscribers. I know everything about Star Wars. Damn. Well, Is that what it sounds like? Huh? That's dude, myself. That's, it's probably what those people think. Become a member. 99 cents. God damn it. We're making them <laughs> all on my own. Nice, dude. Yeah. Dang, dude. Magic. Josh, I like you for real. Hey, thanks, Darth Karen. I appreciate you. The universe that Luke has created is easily large enough to include tons of stories that aren't all about the fools. Mm -hmm. They sure can. Do I accept Canadian tire money? Hell no. What do I look like? A peasant? <laughs> Josh, just, don't we don't accept don't pounds pay, anymore Josh, that's all just don't become uh ryan k ryan josh k. that's all oh yeah no i think that's the move is that's why i'm walking away so that i don't kind of go down that path josh instead of abandoning star wars why don't you go into the lore like you said you will with marvel you should read the new jedi order series or thrawn um unfortunately because like like i think i could get there i think i could get there but i think that maybe for now it's better to just kind of take a break like my relationship with star wars is so damaged that like i don't even want to do that you know what i mean so yeah i honestly just kind of rather not to be honest no to the rings been a while since i caught you guys live good to see you guys looking forward to mando season three me too bro <laughs> Love Star Wars. I'm looking forward to Tales of the Day. I'm looking forward to the Bad Batch season two. I'm looking forward to Mando like a year from now. Dude, I bet you it's going to be delayed with Bad Batch. No! Guarantee. There's no way they're going to release Bad Batch and Mando too. I'll be so surprised and happy if they do. But Yeah, that'd be cool. Probably won't Thanks, Mr. Morty. Mr. Morty. I don't know if you remember it, but a while back I sent a message saying that I started writing a fan film that would be a sequel to the Rise of Vader book. It's going to be good, and I'll be able to start shooting it sometime. And, oh, that's really cool, man. That's awesome. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope uh, it shows up on YouTube and I get to watch it. Hell Maybe yeah. In a live reaction. It'd be cool. Hell yeah. He thanks, Mr. Morty. Mr. Moy. Uh, Sugar Too Low says, I think the only way out of this dilemma would be to bring back Mace Windu in live action, giving him a meaningful story after Revenge of the Sith. What do y'all think? I think that would be cool, but I don't think it's going to solve all the problems. I'll bring him back for you. Bring his bring his ass back. <laughs> Posted my first ever piece of content for my new Star Wars blog on Medium. Just wanted to thank you both for always being authentic content creators in this space. Don't care if I get two million views or two. Just want to share my heart and love for Star Wars. Awesome, bro. That's what it's about. As long as you can stay in that mindset, you will never arrive at where I'm at. <laughs> So you'll be fine. Yeah, um, that's. I think that's the number one thing to really focus on as a content creator is to just not give a damn about the views or the money or anything like that. 
Yeah. And I think to just focus on your passion for creating a cool story and telling the story that you want to tell and being creative with it. Like be creative with the way you edit and the transitions and the music and the whatever, man. Like there's so many little details that you can put into your videos that make it unique to you. And maybe only you will notice notice those things. But as an overall uh, product, I think viewers will be really be wowed by it. So I, I think that's something to really focus on. This is just never always disassociate, detach yourself from the outcome and just enjoy the process of making videos. Yeah, man. And that's what like it's about. Today's world, it's all about like, what's the latest trend? What's the latest sh clickbait shit to talk about? What's the latest thing to like shit on? What's the latest thing to shill out for? And it's not really about like creating cool lore or all that stuff anymore, or, like fan fictions. It's, it's, it's more about like the state of Star Wars. Yeah. You know? Yep. A hundred percent. And I think that if you really fall in love with the process of content, it, that is a really cool thing. And um, just follow that passion. You know, it's like Joseph Campbell, follow your bliss. Follow your say, bliss. The interest of of fans in general, I feel like, has shifted so much from 26, 2017, 2016, mm -hmm. when I started the channel. I think back then it was all about lore. It was all about fan fictions. It was all about, um, you know, some stuff like that. I feel like now it's more so actually about the state of Star Wars. And so you will even see it in the algorithms. Like, I, I'll upload videos now that I would three years ago would get like easy 250K, 1,000. Like to five hundred thousand views, mm -hmm. but now it's just like doesn't no one really cares because it's just not in the in the, in the interest of people. And I feel like oh, it's yeah. it's um kind of just showing a state of Star Wars and, and Star Wars fans at the moment. And I think that will eventually change when the stories start to get really good and start to captivate a lot of fans again. Yeah, hundred percent. I feel like. It's. I feel like that's kind of on Lucasfilm, to be honest with you. Like, oh, of course. It's, it's, we don't, we don't you make know. content, you know. Yeah, and it's the way. That, of, yeah. Well, it's like the way that the Last Jedi kind of spit in the face of speculation. It's the way that all of the books and all the things that we were investing time and money in ended up not paying off in the, the movies or shows. Mm -hmm. It's like that you can only do that so much until a person is not going to be there for that shit anymore because why would they be you know what i mean like if it's not going to actually matter if it's not going to take itself seriously if it doesn't you know like dude there were so many times like in um remember when one of the interviewers asked uh the gleason dude who played hucks he's like so did you know that you had captain phasma kill your own father and that you're that much of a ruthless bastard and he was like no i had no idea that would have been amazing to know and it just shows you that like hmm. there was there was this thing that kathy said where she was like it's all going to be connected your experience will be enriched bro that shit was just a lie it was just straight up a lie, lie bro they yeah it didn't that didn't happen i told you know us. so that's that that leads you to the apathy right uh, just want to tell you, watching you with yours really inspired me to make mine. I'll be filmed at the Garden of Gods in Illinois. If you ever want to check oh, out cool. some uh, pics of the place, oh, that's cool! Right on. What dude. the hell is that? Garden of Gods? That sounds cool. That sounds dope. Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. Um, I feel you on this, Josh. And to be honest, the MCU got me feeling that way too. Yeah, I mean, look, I understand that, but again, I would just argue that, like it's totally different you know what i mean i feel like the things are totally different but it's also like i don't want to like let marvel off the hook because they should absolutely pivot um i just think that they will and they have a bajillion projects they have two avengers movies in three years that are going to be like another big kind of event thing it's just like there's not any of that with star wars there's no direction there's no actual place that we're going the content doesn't feel like it's like, I don't know, for me personally, and, and again, while I understand what you're saying, for me personally, like, I would way rather talk about Marvel. And I don't even like She-Hulk, dude. Like, I literally actively dislike that show. I dislike what is actually currently being served up from that studio. And yet the scope of what we're talking about with Marvel, the direction that we're talking about with Marvel, and the fucking history with Marvel, like, no, no way, dude. A million times over, I'd rather be uh, watching Marvel content or thinking about Marvel content. But again, that's just me. Disney shoe. Disney shoe. 
Okay. Like Chase is going to be in the morning stream. Yeah, he's going to be all mad. Doesn't matter what the poll says. You do you, Josh. Well, thank you, General Kenobi. Douche. Yo, this Garden of the Gods place looks awesome. We have to check Where it out. What they're gonna do to my boy Daredevil? True, true. Um, I think what you're gonna get in the actual show will be way better than what you get in She-Hulk. But who knows? We don't know. Maybe it'll be dope in uh, She-Hulk. We'll see. The beauty of Star Wars is that there is something for everyone. Josh can love or hate and or all he wants, just as we, the chat, can. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, we can all hate Josh, too. Yes, 100%. Thanks, Valkyrie. Do you think Andor doesn't feel like Star Wars yet because Gareth Edwards isn't involved? Love the show, and thanks for doing it. Oh, dude, we'll be doing the show till we're old and... Yeah. Well, I can't we're old and wrinkly, and we'll be like, remember when we used to watch movies without our 3D apparatus... In a freaking tank, you know. Hell no, I ain't gonna sound like that, bro. I will. I'm no, I'm gonna have like that next week. Long flowing hair. I'm gonna look like I'm 30 years old again. <laughs> and I'll be like the cyborg. And damn, I'm gonna be jacked. I'm gonna be fully tatted. <laughs> damn, I'm gonna be juiced out of my mind. No. It's gonna be dope. We'll see. It's gonna be dope. Yeah. Josh made me cry. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to make you cry. Do you think Andor doesn't feel like... Wait, what? Oh, no, never mind. Uh, don't know how I got it. Thought I had food poisoning initially. My meds also were making me nauseous, but didn't know. So I was like, what the fuck is happening? Been much better return to work last week. That is wild, bro. But I, like weird stuff like that does happen. And I'm glad. I'm just glad you're feeling better. Because that's that would be so yeah. crazy, and apparently gut health affects so much, like oh your microbiome, God. like it's wild. So uh, that had to be devastating. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm always eating yogurt. Like I just ate some yogurt, <laughs> put some uh, phyto berry. I should do that more, it's, man. It's so good. High protein, yeah. and it's uh, good for your gut, and it's healthy, good for your skin. Uh, yeah, I, I I take that high fat Greek yogurt. 6.5 I'm with Josh man glup shitto for the win who's, who's glup shitto it's a meme about like a character that it's like cameo shit basically but I agree dude give me glup uh, Mano says Josh you're starting to sound like a separatist give us until episode 6 no one said the forest won't make an appearance that's true and I'll be holding out hope for it we'll talk about it here on the show Um, we'll see maybe I got Tony Gilroy all wrong maybe I got this show all wrong Perhaps, perhaps you do. Perhaps you don't. I got it, Josh. Can put me into mourning for Star Wars? It's really weird. Yeah, that one was rough for me. Uh, U.S. veteran says the first two episodes had me thinking chewing on a box of crayons would have been more entertaining. <laughs> yeah, probably. Andor is made for Mizo slurping soy boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Like Chinese wizard. What? <laughs> what? Hey, bro. Mizo soup's pretty good. So. Yeah, I don't really know what miso soup is to be honest. With What's you. wrong with a Chinese wizard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, jeez, Rick. Being Me too, too invested in the IP can be bad for you, in my opinion. I'm just glad Star Wars is doing something different. First show that feels catered to super fans. No, yeah, I mean, I think there's some truth in what you're saying, brother. But I mean, you know, I still feel how I feel. So, been a fan of you both from the beginning for super chat what's up jesse uh lifelong star wars and marvel fan of 45 years and times are rough uh tough eagerly awaiting greatness to return with mando ahsoka and secret wars yeah me too yeah those uh, will be hype i am really looking forward to tales of the jedi it's going to be such a quick series you know like six 15 minute episodes lame but um at least we get it true look guys andrew looks sick predictions It'll open us up into the Empire, into the why the Republic was kind of shitty, and into the politics of Star Wars at this point in time, and maybe Palpatine and Vader. <laughs> yeah. Southern Missouri says, my question is, how do you come out with three episodes in a row that most people think is a good story, but boring? That's pretty sad. Yeah, I mean, I kind of do think it was a mistake to pace the show this way. I think that everybody, like, I, I think whether or not you agree with this, I think it's obvious 
that modern day audiences are a little bit more like goldfishy yeah and add and like you just fucking bring the noise right away i mean dude even youtubers know that like hook that shit immediately like have good stuff at the intro like come on and so yeah it is a little weird that they were like now we'll just ride it out but to be fair also it's good they put those three episodes together because can you imagine just watching that first episode dude there's a reason they put three episodes Mm -hmm. there is a reason yeah because they were probably watching it and being like yeah it's kind of slow so why don't we add another episode and they're like you know what this one's kind of really slow too so let's add another episode they probably right. did like some test screenings and the whole audience was like <laughs> and they were like oh fuck. Like, okay what you guys hello hello wake up hello, wake up mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. star wars sith what's going on josh i'm right there with you and are disappointed me i'm almost to the point where it's not john and dave that i don't want it trust it Tales of the Jedi, Mando 3, Ahsoka, all has Star Wars juices we need. I agree with that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. What's up, Ash? Oh, thanks, Ash. Appreciate thanks, that. Ash. Josh, you're traumatized like many. Me, by Disney abuse. I love slow burn and or, but get, you need a break. Now, you can read my 6K word essay on Kenobi. Mm-hmm. Send it. Send it. Star Wars Theory. I've been rocking with 26. Dude, thank you. Nice. A, a Sith, Sith Lord. Lord. A Sith Loud. That's how you pronounce that. Loud. Josh, get on board with the Tate train. Join the war room and become a top G. P.S. Totally respect your move with Star Wars. Too many mistakes with the property. So do you remember last week when I told you that story about that esports guy with the Andrew Tate thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Do you know what happened now? No, you said he lost his job and whatever. No, like he was just suspended. Now he was forced to sell his shares of the company he started and he's out completely. And apparently that whole parting with Andrew Tate thing lost them a spot in like the Valorant. Like, dude, it may have literally ended up like it definitely destroyed that dude's career. And then it seems like it might totally destroy this organization, this sports board too. And like, look, I think that shit's ridiculous. Like, I don't like Andrew Tate, but I think it's wild that that's the reaction and that's what's happening. But you also can't deny that that's what's happening. Like, this guy literally started a company. G2 was like on the rise. It was like absolutely incredible, like what he had done. And he has, he literally now is forced out of his own company because of parting with Andrew Tate. Like, that's the level to which people hate Andrew Tate. You know what I mean? Carlos wow. Rodriguez reportedly forced to sell G2 esports shares by Riot. Mm-hmm. Riot Games deny forcing Carlos to step down and sell G2 shares. So it's like it's he said, she said kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, if you watch the video he'd made, there's no way he wanted to do that, bro. He was forced out. It's crazy. Wild. So wild, bro. I think that was a huge mistake. I think that I think G2 will probably. I mean, they're doing it because they want to like shed that and just have a total like new vibe and like totally distance themselves from it. But I think they are sorely mistaken about what's going to happen next, dude. (laughs) You are sorely mistaken. We'll see. Uh, uh, sent some earlier, but just wasn't enough. I've been watching for years and years and finally getting on live theory. Uh, how do you keep from getting burnt out working out? It's my biggest struggle. I hate eating so much. Ooh, that's a good question, dude. That's why a lot of the Hollywood homies don't do it. The eating? They can't do the eating. Yeah, you just got to find a food that you like and mix it up. Um, there's also little things you can do, like little little hacks. I mean, a handful of nuts, tons of calories. Um, you know, pour a little olive oil in your food, extra calories there. Um, some protein bars here and there, fig bars. Like, it's super simple. You have like a couple, you have like two, three protein bars a day. It's like an extra thousand calories right there. Um, but like tasty ones, you know, uh, if you're trying to gain weight, uh, do cardio. 
do some anaerobic exercise. That'll completely just start burning the shit out of your metabolism. Yeah. You'll get more and more hungry and you'll probably be more efficient at uh, um, digesting your food. You know, take a good probiotic. Take a good probiotic. You know, it's it's not so much about eating like garbage. Well, not only garbage, but like high calorie food, like pizza and this and that. Like I did it that way when I was younger. I didn't really know better. I was like eating pizza and pouring mayo on it and and eating cookies with milk. And and what do they call that? Dirty bulking or something like that? Like it was dirty just, bulk? I don't even know if what it was. I was just trying to figure it out. I was so skinny and like just wanted to be like this fat, strong man. Hmm. Was you creatine wanted... when you were younger? Um, sometimes, yeah, but it wasn't. It doesn't really do much. I mean, it, some it, people it, it doesn't actually. Affect it makes that you much. much strong. I mean, I think it's the only supplement that actually really works. Oh yeah, creatine is crazy, dude. Bullshit. Did you know they recently linked it to uh, fighting depression? No, no, I didn't. They did a lot mm -hmm. of tests with dolphins, and it actually improves cognition. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's the thing that's wild is like I remember taking it in high school, and people were like, "Bro." We have no idea what that is. We don't know what it's going to do. And like 20 years later, it's one of the most tested, tested supplements of all time. And it's yeah. it's come out completely clean. Yeah, but I'm going I'm to be like right back. I just want to go check on Liam. Apparently, he's being a butthole. So give me like two minutes. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Um, but yeah, if you're having trouble eating, just, you know, sometimes you just got to force it down, dude. Like there were times where I was eating and I was just like going to puke. And I just couldn't get it down anymore. You just... Sometimes you got to do it. You got to eat to grow. You just have to eat more. It's really all it is. New members, what's up? Hello there, Clown Theory here. What's up, Clown Theory? How you doing, man? You look good. Andor feels like really good side of mashed potatoes or to a steak. Space Opera Star Wars is steak. I like mashed taters, but it has to come with my F and steak. Yeah, that's a well put. Yeah. Again, a little early on the show, but yeah, it was super slow. Um, what's up, Daniel? What do you think the Star Wars universe needs in order to be where we know it can be? Obi Wan was flat and or so far. Um, the Star Wars universe it needs good storytelling and it needs uh, Dave Filoni. That's really all you need. <sighs> Is he good? Yeah, yeah, he's all right. He was, yeah, he had like a thing, but he's fine. Mm. Goodbye, Papa Josh. We will miss you along with Wade. <laughs> and this was a hard year for us Star Wars fans to lose so much. Damn you, KK. Yeah. Yeah. Tough. What's up, Leon? We love you, Josh. Just pumped in chat now. Just jumped in chat now. We will always support you guys. I'm going to wear my purple Order 66 hat tomorrow. You don't say that. You don't no, say you that. Know, I have a meeting tomorrow with um uh ah geez, I didn't even look at the poll yet. Uh with the spring team for uh hats. You have nice, dude. Yeah, so trying I to get what... beanies or something. Just different designs and shit. Different designs, different colors. It doesn't even have to be, you know, like this. It can be new designs as well. So we're gonna work on a bunch of different things and with their design team and their their head of design. So see how it goes yeah that'll be cool love your content josh thanks for your responsible take on not spreading and monetizing hate like so many channels burnout is real take care of yourself oh yeah dude i think this break will be great and i think i'll come back just recharge like i said i'm still going to talk each week here on this show but um yeah i think it'll end up being good man and uh we'll be having better content i'll be in a better space it'll be awesome yeah thanks Goldie. it's a good take Andor feels lived in and grimy, but it still didn't feel like Star Wars to me. I'm looking forward to it tie into the Star Wars that we know and love. Yeah, me too. And I, th I think we need to give it more episodes for that. I think it eventually True. will. True. Hopefully. I could be wrong. But, um, you know, and when I say it could be wrong, I'm saying, like, I just don't see why they wouldn't tie it into Star Wars, right? But, like, I have been wrong before. So. Yeah. I, I get your take, actually. I think it's, you know what I mean? yeah, I think it makes sense. So. Yeah. To each their own. I love the feel of Andor. I'm okay with the TV series taking longer to develop story and characters. That's cool, man. I like I, I'm, you know, not a personal attack on you. I think that's cool. Like what you like, man. 
like what you like. That's all it is. You know, it's it's fair to think that different people have different um, taste palettes for like different food and stuff. Mm -hmm. like some people like anchovies, some people don't yeah. like broccoli, some people. It's the same with movies and shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Real quick, give me a rundown on what's going on. Jumping on late. Uh, TLDR, I'm triggered. Hating Andor. Uh, so we're going to squeeze out as much clickbait about that as we possibly can. So probably in two weeks. I was wrong and I'm back kind of video. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, so that's your TLDR, man. Cowboys suck. Cowboys suck. Philly, Philly. Amen, dude. Stay West, man. So glad you guys are live. Now I have something to watch while I wait for my connecting flight. May the force be with you. Oh, joy. We hope you made that flight, dude. Hope the flight's good. Hope the flight's real good. Excited for the Last of Us HBO series. Eh. Yeah. It's whatever. Yeah. Do what you want. Josh, we'll watch. Respect. Thank you, Nathan. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate you, Nathan. Bro, don't like She-Hulk, but like, wait, what? That. Yeah, I don't like She-Hulk. But I did like episode two, and I was trying to be more fair uh, than most about the show. But yeah, I that show is bad. So, Can, uh, Cannon says, I have a butt, and I enjoy it. My man. As you should. My man. As you should. <laughs> <laughs> Much love, Nerd Theory. The Vader cinematic is dope. Amen. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks uh, for everyone. It's at half a million views already in a week. It's great. Sick, dude. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's real good. We got Savvy in the chat. What's up, Savannah? What's up, Savannah? Nerd vendor for life. Slap a grandma, y'all. Slap a grandma, indeed. Josh, the more people disagree with you, the more I enjoy your right to your opinion. Yeah, right? Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, I think that some of that can definitely happen. And, and, there you uh, have an opinion. Yeah. Josh, I thought you wanted new Star Wars. Isn't it or new vibes for Star Wars? Uh, not accusative or accusative. Just thought you'd like it. Love you guys. No, I mean, I think that's fair, right? Like, because I have talked about new, but I'm not talking about abandoning the themes are. that I think are central to Star Wars. When I'm talking about when I talk about new is like new characters, new settings, new uh, adventures, new struggles. But the thing is. I still want it to be Star Wars. And to me, like Star Wars is a particular kind of feel and a particular kind of vibe. So, yeah. But I understand what you're saying. And look, this is definitely new. And especially after like Kenobi and shit, like if you're really into this and you're like, this is what I want, I respect that. You know, I just fucking hate it. But hey, it is what it is. Josh! You are the one who's the Who BA... Ball liquor. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, right on. It's a band Andrew, band. thanks. I appreciate it. Much love, Alden. I see that. I see that. Uh, join membership, man. Thank you. I wish people would take a day or two to think about someone else's opinion before hating. I loved Andrew, but still want to listen to y'all. Much love. Much love. Appreciate you. Yeah, and you know what? And and if you guys could learn anything from our show, is that. Josh is my boy and he doesn't want to watch it anymore. I'm still going to keep watching it or he doesn't want to talk about it. I'm going to still keep talking about it. And we respect each other's opinions. I mean, I don't think it's a great show. I don't think it's a great start to the show. I think it's boring as hell, but I think there's something there and I think it'll eventually pick up. Freaking hope so. And if it doesn't, best believe we both going to be like, mm -hmm. what the hell is this? Yep. You're drunk Cobra Kai uh, theory. With C3PO had me dying, dying theory. Shout out to the Knights of Melvin. Respect uh, to you, Josh, for your opinion. Much love from North NorCal, North California. Cool, man. Cool. Cool. Darth Chaco. We'll always love you and your takes, even when we disagree. Is a phenomenal conversation. I appreciate you, Josh. Thank you, man. I appreciate uh, you appreciating. Much love to you, Chaco. Appreciate you appreciating. <laughs> appreciating. Damn, dude, it's Inception. It's an appreciation Inception. What's Another up? Monday night. EG. Another great nerd theory. Agree with your assessment, Josh. Lately, have been more cautiously optimistic with Star Wars content. Much love, guys. Can't wait for video episode two. Loving the new content. Thank you, CG. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Join membership. My man. Yeah. My man. Yeah. 
Theory, my guy, life going, how's life going? Stoked for Vader episode two and three. Your channel has definitely inspired me to help, uh, inspired me to help me through my day of rigmarole. Hmm. Uh, dealing with a bald, angry man can get interesting <laughs> and tedious, JK, man. Uh, yeah, man. Much love, Mandalore. I love mean, dude, <laughs> this guy, like, I want to see the guy that comes over his shoulder at work and is like, so you're photoshopping that same dude uh, bald again there, huh? Oh, okay. Just... <laughs> oh, his name what? Matt. Matt. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you call him Matt. Okay, I get it. Yeah. If nothing else, I feel like the tone of Andor will provide contrast for a lot of the other content, like Tales, that is more in line with the classic Star Wars. I couldn't agree more. We well, you know what's weird is that Rogue One felt like classic Star Wars. Yeah, well, you know what? So I was actually thinking a lot about that, because when I initially watched Rogue One, I wasn't like, as crazy about it but i've come to like really really enjoy it but i think that gareth edwards absolutely loves star wars and probably at a lot at, at a certain level gets it tony gilroy came in late in the game in rogue one and from what i understand he really just reworked the third act and helped kind of bring that shit together but tony gilroy doesn't like star wars like at all he's like actually very vocal about it so i what? don't know yeah, he doesn't like Star Wars. He's ne he's never liked the movies. He's never liked the lore. He's never liked the world. Yeah. Where, so where are you getting this shit from? Oh, bro, he's talked about it in interviews. I, I'm pretty sure that's commonly known, unless I'm mistaken. Um, don't what? chat, chat. Don't you all know that about Tony? Like he doesn't give a fuck about Star Wars. So like to me, when I look at what's going on here, I'm like, yeah, this is good. But it is lacking that love that I think Gareth Edwards had initially brought to um, Rogue One. I gotta so. see. I gotta. I gotta. Tony Gilroy doesn't. What the hell? What? Yeah. Yeah, he's not a fan. Uh... Oh, but even now that Gilroy is serving as showrunner for the upcoming Rogue One spinoff prequel series and or it turns out that he's not exactly a diehard devotee of the franchise in the same way as other creators like Dave Filoni and John Favreau. In an interview with SFX Magazine, Gilroy didn't mince words when he flat out said that he's not a fan of Star Wars. This may indicate that while he enjoys it well enough, it's probably not on any of his top five lists, though he didn't elaborate on the meaning. He even went as far as to admit he consulted Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia, <laughs> i mean look man i told y'all motherfuckers i tried to warn you like i the thing is for me i saw all the red flags as i was um you know as i was learning more about the show and as more and more information came out and i started like hearing little things that to me were like ooh, like i don't know about that you know i can't believe that yeah i can't i cannot yeah bro it's where we're at that is where we're at brother so to me like when i like try to make sense of it i'm like well there you go that's why it doesn't feel like it you know that's why rogue one was good because gareth may yeah maybe he was in over his head maybe gareth edward fucked up a lot of shit but he loves star wars he gets it, you know, so like, can you imagine the goal of a dude that's uh, handling the next tentpole piece of franchise content, just literally saying he's not a fan of it? You know what I mean? It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I let my dog in. She's going fucking crazy. Yeah. Leia! Leia, stop. Come here. Get 
Inside. Well, chat, uh, I am at a loss for words. I really don't know what to say. Um, you know, you'd imagine at this point you wouldn't be surprised anymore, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously not a prerequisite. It's as a far as Kathy's concerned. It's right? a prerequisite. It's how can you be making it like wh well plus dude here's the other thing and i'm not trying to panic <laughs> but what if that story's true and they want to do movies with tony they want to do other shows with tony like i'm like i'm sitting here like it's bold strategy cotton see how it uh we'll see how that plays out <laughs> <laughs> however that doesn't mean Gilroy is phoning it in anyone familiar with his work which includes writing the Bourne trilogy should be familiar with the levels of passion he puts into his work and he doesn't plan on stopping in the now in fact he's going for something down to earth so to speak <laughs> that's exactly that's what you don't want to do with Star Wars you want it to be out of Earth mm -hmm. or, or our show is about ordinary people Gilroy said about the scope of Andor okay that's fair enough they're behind the scenes they're going to build the road to the revolution we're really in the kitchen with these people our people are back there washing dishes so canon might be happening off stage but what's happening for them is something completely different that's the overriding manifesto for our show make it real okay hey you know what that's fine. This yeah. guy doesn't have to like Star Wars if he's going to make something that has nothing to do with the canon. But still, you'd imagine someone working on a Star Wars project. But that's the issue. You know, they, they, they're these filmmakers and they get these big contracts from Lucasfilm. Like, hey, who doesn't want... I mean, you, you're a contractor. You get a contract to do a freaking contracting job for a big sum of money. You're going to take it. That's what yeah. you've literally gone to school for. That's your profession. Right, but here, so here's the thing that, and again, I'm not trying to like dogpile and like go crazy, but to me, like when I think about this, I can't imagine Tony actually wanted to do this project. He was probably convinced to do this project by KK. And the idea of Kathleen Kennedy having John and Dave right there, you know what I mean? Having the Trevorrow script, having all this stuff and going to convince Tony Gilroy to do Andor, I'm just like I'm baffled, bro. Like That's I'm awesome. just I'm just baffled. So, um, yeah. I mean, hopefully, like there wow. was hopefully those Wikipedia or those Wikipedia sessions were good enough to 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 get some juice in there. It's insane, you know? Yeah, bro. Guy was probably like watching my videos and watching other YouTubers' videos. Probably, yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's incredible, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk about an L, dude. <laughs> Talk, Talk about, about an L. <laughs> Talk about hiring an, hiring an L. Damn. Yeah. Well... Okay. Uh, oh, geez. <laughs> Buckle up. Yep. Not surprised. Not surprised. Star Wars, Rusty. Star Wars again. Dave has a chance, and we will see what happens with the upcoming projects, but it's just not the same, man. Feels corporate. Agreed. Hmm. Can I get a don't I, think about it too much one more time? Don't think about it too much, too much, too much. There's no need for us to make a good show. Beautiful. That's for you, Joey. That's for you. Andrew, thank you. Marvel is the characters. Star Wars is the lore. If the lore isn't as least present in the background, you could swap the title Star Wars for something else. And then why bother? Not. Yep. I agree. Ain't wrong. 
Andor feels like generalized sci-fi. Rings of Power feels like generalized fantasy. Phase four, like generalized superhero stuff. Where's the identity? Yeah, I think there's truth in that. And, and that includes the MCU. I think that um, there is a definitely factory feeling going on here, dude. Like, particularly from you as an MCU fan, I'm like, maybe don't make as many shows because they all end up at the same place. They all end up feeling very predictable by the third act. And it's just like, you know, so rings of power, by the way, I actually stopped watching. <laughs> I, oh, that's cool. You made the I, I can't. Oh, that is cool that you made the costumes though. Mm -hmm. Josh brother. I feel you and respect you. I love you both. Thank you. Andres. Andres Casalet. Much love. Four thousand dollars. I'm just kidding. Dang, bro. That's, that's crazy. crazy. What uh yeah. currency is that? COP? Oh COP? man, I have no idea. Hopefully it's not the British pound. Oh. British pound just collapsed. What are you most excited for on Jedi Last Survivor? And would you like to see a mature love scene oh, in Columbia. Star Wars? Columbia oh, Peso. Columbia Peso? Right on. That's wild. Right on. 4,000 Colombian peso is $1.23 Canadian. Holy shit. So then, like, when... Is anyone here from Colombia? So if you want to, if you want to, like, I don't know, like, buy a house, like, what would it be like? Like, what was that? Like, yeah, it's probably like that because, like, yen is something like a thousand to a dollar or something. So, so 15, like, $25 is 20. million Colombian peso is $15,000. Interesting. Yeah, it so makes what, sense. Like a billion? Something like that, yeah. Because I think like 25,000 yen. No, dude. It's like even. 50 bucks or something. A billion is 300 grand. What? A billion Colombian peso is 300 grand. That's crazy. That's nine zeros, right? Mm, I think so. Well, yeah. It's wild. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Well, anyways, thanks, man. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see Columbia. I'd like to see some parts of South America one day. Mm -hmm. Some. Uh, what are you most excited on Jedi Last Survivor? Just to play the game. Or would you like to see a mature love scene in Star Wars? No, I don't want to see that. Yeah, I don't. I have no desire Why? to see that. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, Just tell me a good story, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One BTC equal one BTC. Yeah, that's true. When watching Andor, I can't help but wonder why Lucasfilm couldn't dedicate the same amount of passion and care towards a show involving the core motifs of Star Wars, Jedi of the Force. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, you know, in Rogue One at least did, which was cool. Yep. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But it's it's not about that. It's not about the force. It's about Andor and his his view of the Empire, his view of the world. So I think you don't really need the force at the moment. Josh, don't get into a midlife crisis over Star Wars. That's what we're trying to prevent. If Lucasfilm wants a AAA game every year, I'd love if the new saga was made just for video games. Doubt it ever happened, but one can wish. That's actually not a bad idea, dude. An in canon trilogy that's just done in video games or something that'd be fun. Uh, <laughs> that'll be kind of sick. Don't say that. You know, what's that? How did Vader go to the bathroom? Uh, it says Ben. Uh, he had tubes. Tubes, bro. So he actually didn't poo. He just had tubes that would excrete the wastes into a bag. Like a catheter. Yeah. I feel like people are conflating Josh's hate for Andor not being real Star Wars with him saying that the production quality of the show is bad. 100%, Jake. But that... It's kind of par for the Their course on the though. internet. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? Everyone donate two bucks now, now for twelve dollars. <laughs> be amazing. Thanks, Mandalore. I wish. Bring back Ewoks. Want to see Jedi or Sith? Fluffy Bear be Grogu's rival. Darth Tebow. I don't hate it. Darth Tebow. I don't hate it. 
you ever hear the tale Vader episode 2? I thought not. It's a story Lucasfilm will tell you. It's a Star Wars theory legend. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Me well neither, man. I like the art. I like the art. Member only art. It's dope. <laughs> Bet I'm going to free up some overseas funds and write the 10 mil US day by y'all next week. P.S. How big do you think Anakin Schmidt is? Is he packing? Bro, it's uh, yeah, maybe at one time. Now it's a uh, pile of ash. Josh, oatmeal raisin is good. Shush, says Valkyrie. I agree, oatmeal Valkyrie. Raisins, oatmeal raisin is all right. I like oatmeal again, raisin. Oatmeal raisin is okay, bro. It feels mm -hmm. like a nutritious version of a cookie, which I hate. Bro. Give me. Yeah, man. Remember you know Monster the, Cookies with like the green chocolate chips and whatever? The green, blue, smarty. Uh, no, that sounds fun, though. Dude, my favorite uh, cookie, though, is a peanut butter blossom. You ever had one of those? No, I never had one. It's like a peanut butter cookie, and then when it's still hot, they take a Hershey Kiss and put it in the middle, smush it down, and let the cookie like kind of nice. rise a little bit over it. Yeah, dude. Whew. Now that's a good cookie or a Pazelle. I'll tell you this: the Polish do some pretty good treats. Yo, if you could have the like a big uh, video game streaming channel, would you enjoy that? Yeah, hundred like percent. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, Absolutely. I mean, I'm trying to do more gaming on my channel either way, but it's kind of like an algorithmic thing where it's like, you know, people really want to just hear me commentate and not necessarily do game stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that would be sick. I'm sure it comes with its own set of uh, problems. You know what I mean? All right, it all does. Yeah. But uh, no, that would be super fun, man. Gaming's cool. Thanks, man. It's my problem with Andor is that it's based on two people that I don't care about getting murdered. <laughs> There's no proof. Yeah, I think that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? I lost my sign. Oh, like you when I moved. That's oh, cool. that's devastating, dude. The hell, bro. Yeah, that's devastating. My make, my make or break was not. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I mean, come on, man. Do yeah, any of us think that slap. Ahsoka is not going to be good? Like, slap. Yeah. You live in Tampa. Oh, yeah, big hurricane. Yeah, dude. That, apparently, that shit's devastating down there. I hope you all are okay. It's We're getting a ton of rain up here from it. So, uh, East of Canada got hit with one, too. Mm hmm. Only good kind of legend in Mando these days. Yeah. And also, what a weird... Is that a Lego? Uh, yeah. Gotta be. Like the gotta be. Grand Inquisitor. Oh, yeah. It's gotta be. Even CG Project Red was able to turn around after a bad game release and make a killer show. Star Wars can always make a comeback with the right direction. Dude, yeah. Did you hear about that? It's wild. After that anime came out, the game was like top of steam sales charts the week afterwards and had like a million players log back in and play the game and that game had like Recently? this uh um, like cyberpunk cyberpunk yeah the re-release no it wasn't a re-release at all it's just the fact that it's better game now That's and this an well the anime came out and it was like dude that anime was dope it's on netflix highly recommend it um and so a lot of people just love that anime so much that they wanted to get back into that world um and the game's obviously much better now. You know what I mean? They just, they released it way too soon. You know, they weren't yeah. ready. Yeah, they should have released it now, dude. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's probably a really good-ass game now. I actually think about getting on there again. Yeah, so. maybe I'll play it again. I, lo I loved it. I had fun I had fun with it. Hot D! Gonna be better than Game of Thrones because it's not gonna run out of source material and Happy Josh will be here. Need more of that. Your art sucks mm -hmm. content. Yeah, man. Hey, don't worry. We'll We'll be doing our thing. You know, the Josh is going to Josh as we don't cover hot D. I do. I've been doing every Monday. I do a uh, breakdown stream. So I've been doing breakdown streams every Monday and I want to do videos on it. It's just like, dude, my life is a fucking minefield right now. I mean, yeah, fatherhood. You go, you yeah. Baby, you know, and also, dog. yeah. And also like got, I'm doing a lot of stuff with the comic book stuff. I, I just sign. I'm, I'm working with a new company on my channels um and so like i've been trying to get into meetings and like converse with those people um so like i'm just i'm just really really busy i want to do hot d covers though i think i will 
for that game for the Jon Snow thing, I will absolutely be doing a lot of content around that Jon Snow show. So, and maybe I'll do some videos before the end of uh, this season on Hot D. But yeah, every Monday we do on my streaming channel. I break down the episode. You know what? You know what I just thought of what would be fun if we had a. Like an like a nerd theory channel where we just went live once a week and talked about everything nerd. Like like not like but in yeah. detail, not just like Star Wars, like what we do here, but like everything. Yeah. No, I mean I dude, and, I think we and, could and, absolutely and we could make like cool videos like we were going to do like fictitious characters fighting other fictitious characters, like Hulk versus freaking yeah. Batman. So I you know, whatever. Stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, dude, totally. I think that's a, a brilliant direction and something that we could absolutely do. The only issue is that I'm so fucking busy right now. Like in a couple of weeks when he starts sleeping through the night, I think I'll be able to take on more things. You know what I mean? But like right now, it's like it's tough to bro, like to be juggling all of this. And like, yeah, like he just he doesn't sleep through the night. And so like it's either I'm like dragging or she's dragging and we're trying to like you know, get each other's back, allow each other to sleep and whatnot. Yo, new parents, hey, parents in the chat, y'all can relate. You know what this shit's like. Um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, we. I think we only have one more month of this. So I'll be very. Connection cool. between arm patches and early death star planes. Arm patches. What? The arm patches that are on those characters. In the show, I think is what he's saying. Oh, that's CIS. Got to watch my video, my man. Mm -hmm. CIS. CIS. Man, and or sucks says your boy. <laughs> right on, man. Are you guys excited is for it? God of War? Yes, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to leave my house, bro. Like once, once <laughs> the fall comes around, it's game over. Nice. Or it just uh -oh. gives that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's all good, Chaco. Some memberships are rolling in. Huh? Keep them rolling. I mean, either you can guys, you guys can be a member for 99 cents or you can do a super chat once a month. Whatever works. Whatever you want. Just to clarify, my commitment, my comment about Kotor Remake was based off of what I've heard about it. I'm a huge Kotor fan and I've been Following the news about it closely. News. Okay. Yeah, dude, I think it's still going to come out, but I just think, look, my take on it too, and maybe I'm not like following every little bit of piece of news, but like my just general take is that it is not coming out anytime soon, dude. Like yeah. it just got, it just got completely handed to a, a new studio. They cannot just take that project and run with it. They have to get acclimated to the system. They have to understand where the progress is at. It's a whole thing. So I just don't see it coming out anytime soon. Anytime soon. New members rolling in. We see you guys. We love you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Josh on the left and theory on the right is the change. I didn't know I needed you guys. Are my two favorite YouTubers. I don't care your takes. The content is gold. Thank you, Joey. Thanks, That's Joey. Cool. Appreciate it. You the man, Joey. You the man. I'm you the man. man. I'm the man. I'm the man. Hey, I'll become a member chat. if you are the band. Actually, I have no idea what that is. Man, my main account runs with phantoms. I literally made this other account so I could still super chat you deal. <laughs> Honestly, dude, I, I don't keep track of who I've banned and who I haven't or who mods have banned and who haven't. So. Uh... I don't know, dude. You talking to me or you talking to Josh? Nah, he's got to be talking to you. Oh, well. Just super chat on this one. <laughs> I ain't going in there. And That's a no from me, I ain't dog. I ain't, I ain't gonna waste time going in there and searching for you, dude. Like, if you got banned, you got banned for a reason, obviously. So, oh uh, shit, ain't real dog. Unless like it was a fat finger moment from one of the mods, then yeah, sorry. But their Avengers smash that like button, Smizzash. We should do a fan theory. And if Padme became the chosen one, would be an interesting theory. Ooh. Probably not. 
However, George Lucas did say that she had the most midichlorians of anyone when she was pregnant with the twins. Really? Mm -hmm. That's wild. You think they will mention Dooku's sister in Tales of the Jedi? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they mention his father, too. Maybe Which she's getting freaking out of here. Yeah. You know, say that about Dooku's sister. Oh, I must be mixing her up with someone else. I thought she was a who. <laughs> what? I've been looking forward to this. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Would you guys like to see Mary Drake coming to canon? If so, would you like to see that happen? I don't know, dude. I'm still trying to get over what Josh is saying. <laughs> got, out, got it out for Dooku's sister like that. Damn. Maybe I just mixed her up with a different character. I don't know. Damn. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. How would you like to see My Mary Jade come into canon? Uh, well, if she came into canon, she, she'd have to be different. But um, I like the fact that she's kind of hidden as a force user and as the Emperor's hand at first. So I would probably do that. They just have her be working with somebody, and then all of a sudden she reveals herself to be this secret Palpatine person or something. It'd be cool. Show a flashback of Jabba's palace when Luke was there, and uh, she's one of the dancers. There you go. There you go. That's and we good. could like start her story off there when the barge True. explodes. True. She gets mad at me because of my balls chat, and you skipped it. We didn't oh, skip it, dude. Oh, you got it, dude. Definitely remember it. Definitely remember. Sheesh. Yeah. You must have patience. Free yeah. episode three. Yeah. You're Anakin and I'm Kenobi. I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Caleb. Caleb. Currently negotiating with Disney about co-writing a canon novel about Yolaren post episode three probably won't go anywhere but i wanted to keep the spirit alive hey, right on awesome dude good luck yeah hope you get it yeah i hope you get it hope you get it will josh stay with star wars for a scooby snack hell yeah bro maybe maybe i'll not. flip i'll flip i'll change up real quick imaginary says you guys help me get through some real stuff man especially you theory so thank you my question is where do you want to see Star Wars in five years? Shows, movies, from a business standpoint. Um, I'll tell you from a fan standpoint because I feel that they're interchangeable. Um, yeah. I want to see a new Star Wars video game coming out every year. One, at least one. I want to see a new Star Wars movie coming out every year. And I want one to two Star Wars shows every year. But good shows. And I want one animated Star Wars show every year. So two live action shows, one live action movie, and one animated show every year. So that makes for three shows, one movie, one video game. And I want lots of cool toys. Um, I would like four books released every year on varying uh, topics of Star Wars and different timelines. And I would love a Legends only sort of um, project so it could be a legends only movie legends only show cartoon book video game so it doesn't have to coincide with canon and it can do whatever you want it to do it can we can talk about the old um freaking ricotta empire we can talk about force unleashed whatever i would love to see that kind of stuff so that's that's where i would want it to go josh what about you i'd say new leadership and um, having plans maybe every three years, maybe every four years that are like almost like phases or events. Like it's like kind of if they're not going to actually do trilogies, at least be like, OK, so for the next couple of years, we're going to be telling a continuous story through a lot of the different content that's going to lead to this place. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's cool. Still make it Star Wars and make it feel Star Wars. But like having. um these little mini pushes and draws I think would be very good as opposed to just kind of content that's kind of all over the place. That's that's what I would like to see. And that could include video games. It could include the comics. Like, you know what they're doing with High Republic, right? But like 
ex- uh, expanding beyond just books and comics. Thanks, Imaginaire. Yeah. Yeah. Glad we could have been there for you, man. You've been there for us, too. Love you, brothers. Josh sent you a tweet. Would love to hear your thoughts on it. On Valiant Renegade's most recent video, huge news on KK. Yeah, I think I saw that tweet. I'll have to look into it. I mean, I obviously can't watch it right now, though. So. Would a old Republic series even be good since tech in Republic, High Republic is kind of crap and it's only 200 years prior? They barely have hyperspace solved. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. It would be fine. I think a more primitive show would be neat. Yeah, I agree. Those kind of um, things can actually make the stories better. Those kind of constraints. Josh, what's the story? You leaving Star Wars? Haven't sent a message to you guys in a while. Love you guys, Josh. I still want to fight you. <laughs> I don't remember if we actually ever were aggressive towards each other or not, Dylan. And I'll just tell you that I'm in a very I zen mood. Um, so, but yeah, no, we can absolutely fight. I actually love to fight, but we can do it like peacefully. Sign uh, waivers go to a dojo um but yeah it's, you'll have to watch the stream though for the answers about star wars yeah owen i thought solo was okay i didn't really get the big deal why people hated it so much it was all right that's all right Ugh. so low josh can i get a yeah been fighting for my life for josh in a chat i'm a company i'm a company man but josh i get you believe me sometimes i wish i could just Wish away Disney, but I can't. Mm, fair. Fair. Yeah, it's kind of tough out here, but you know, we're doing what we can. Thank you, man. Yo, Theory, been a while since I last stopped by. Just got a lot of family stuff and promotion at work. Dude, awesome. I'm really happy to hear that. How y'all been and any horror streams coming? You know it, dude. Is October coming around? October's coming around. Uh, congrats on the freaking promotion, though. That's real cool. What if Andor gets his name the same way Solo does? Oh, no, he's already got his name, and they haven't done anything goofy like that. Follow-up Tate uh, message was joke, inspired by previous Nerd Theory stream. Appreciate the story. Find these sort of reactions unconscionable and omnipresent now. Yeah, they're wild. It's wild. Wild times. Wild times, bro. People care too much about what other people think. You do you, Josh. You the man. Only a month and a bit until Ragnarok. There you do it. I know. I can't Hell, wait. yeah. Hell, yeah. All Josh does now is take Nergronic's views. Heels, heels versus babyface views for his own shills for them and his right wing leader now will turn on Marvel in weeks. Tell me the lotto numbers while you're at it, please. That is an interesting take, Chris. Interesting take. I bet he's not alone in that thinking, though. It's like Probably if not, you yeah. if you have an opinion that seems to be going away from like Star Wars or not loving what Marvel's doing, then I think you're sort of labeled as being those things. But the ironic thing is that I'm walking away from making the content because I don't want to be that at all. I think it actually be pretty easy for me to do it. Real talk. Yeah, and really. And that video did. <laughs> better than like most of your other videos man that video crushed to be fair though the x-men video that i dropped like two days later is actually doing even better so it's like it's kind of you yeah, know but it's which, one's, dope. which one's easier to make the hate <laughs> like a million you don't need new, new yeah. news for that yeah totally if i really wanted to do what chris is accusing me of i think uh i think it'd be pretty easy Although I like Andor, I agree with Josh. It almost feels like Tony Gilroy wanted to make a spy thriller and feels forced to use the Star Wars sandbox. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like to me. Bro, after he said that, dude, zero respect. Yeah, that's kind of wild, huh? Who do you think has the best drip in Star Wars? Palpatine. Masamita. Masamita's got some good swag. Uh, Queen Amidala had some pretty good drip, too, bro. Drip. Yeah, she would drip drip. Actually, Mace Windu with this freaking Electrum lightsaber, dude, with the gold. That's true. That's swagged out, but he's just wearing that robe, dude. That's not drip. On an email from Kai Patterson's site today that he did a Book of Boba Fett cut too. Now we just have to wait for this and or... Damn. Was the uh, Boba thing pretty cool? 
I like Kai's cuts. I like what he does. Valkyrie. Theory, if you like God of War Norse stuff, check out Hellblade Sinua's Sacrifice Amazing Story and Gameplay. Had me in tears. Okay, cool. Is that on, what is that, Netflix? Sick. Yeah, I have no yeah. idea. Me and Josh going to Netflix and chill it? Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. Thanks, Valks. Always nice seeing you. Wouldn't want to be it. No, I'm just kidding. Huh. Question, why would they employ a guy who doesn't like Star Wars? I'm hopeful about the show, but it's like shooting yourself. Yeah, not a good look. Not a good look, yeah. Like bald Matt, not a good look. <laughs> Ryan Johnson is a fan of Star Wars. Fan does not equal good content. I mean, I know Ryan has said oh. that, but I don't know that I actually believe him. And subjective, but at least Ryan was smart enough to fucking lie about it. Uh, agree with Josh. I'm upset. Obi and Boba look so cheap compared to Andor. It feels like they don't want to put money into pre Disney Star Wars. Josh will come back when uh, Senator ET shows up using the force, fighting Palpatine in the Senate room. Hell yeah, bro! Let's go. Let's go. I gotta let this freaking three. Who, in your opinion, has the best trip? We just answered that. We just answered that. We just answered it. Jar Jar. Andor Can't believe you let Josh turn you against Andor. <laughs> okay. Go, go. Look, get it's like here. sometimes people just don't even watch the streams and they just make shit up for themselves and then comment it. Bro, it's totally that. I like, like, you know, it's it's so bizarre to me. Like, watch the video, watch the videos, and then form an opinion. No, people are like, just like of a clip on TikTok or something be like, huh? oh, there's my thought. Yeah, I can't like I think people in a lot of ways, like that's like what I was saying, like some of these comments, like I hear people and I'm just like, I I, I don't know. Like, I don't know how, how to you, fucking how reach you, you. Like, it feels like you you're function? so far out of reality. How like, do you function as a human being? Like, right. Dude. Like, how do you people... formulate opinions and go through this life without running into a wall if you just make shit up for yourself? And like watch two seconds of something or a clip or whatever and formulate your opinion and generalize for the entirety of another person or whatever it might be based on like the two seconds of fucking information that you get. It mind blowing. Maybe they watch muted. Like sick generation that's gonna if be they just make up to what we're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. The human race is destined for greatness at this rate. <laughs> Yeah, absolute dog water, Jake. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, Levi. Richmond, Indiana. Officer Sierra Burton laid to rest today. Moment of silence for RPD 140K92. Damn. Sorry to hear that. Hey, I just intended a celebration of life uh, for a very close friend of mine uh, just a few days ago. Mm. Yeah, those are tough. Josh, sent you my article on Twitter where I say Disney Star Wars is about making content for consumers as opposed to fans. Execs, I don't respect the fans. Thank you, Brian. I'll have to check it out, man. Thank you, Brian. I see that membership. Roy, I see that membership too. Hi, guys. Would Who would win? Darth Vader Prime or Darth Vitiate? Ugh. Vitiate. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. What's up, t -Lures? Oh, is there a gaming coming soon? Yeah, I mean, dude, I wanted a game on Friday, but like I fucked up the time of this meeting. I had to leave my stream early. It wasn't good. Can't tell me the two time isn't watching the stream. I don't know. That's wild. Oh my wild. god, I just realized I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. Hmm. Lame. Feels like there's legit no quality control at Marvel and Star Wars, along with Lord of the Rings. Am I the only person seriously bothered at the random length of episodes? Do we all just boycott Marvel and Star Wars? No, it's not a boycott, man. It's not a boycott. I just need a little break. And uh, yeah, I mean, I still love Marvel. I just I don't like She-Hulk. Really didn't like Love and Thunder. Um, but I think Wakanda Forever is going to be sick. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Doom. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. back, you mentioned a meet and greet for your fans. Is that still happening? If it's any ideas, where would you want it? Uh, if I do a meet and greet, it would be in New York City when we do the um, 
the Vader episode two premiere. If I do it in New York. It's either New York or California. I mean, ultimately, I'd love to do New York and California, but that's, you know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens there. Either New York or Cali. Yeah, or both. No. Or both. That's what I just said. Oh, my bad. California. Um, yeah, I'd rather not. Uh, do you think there'll be another Star Wars trilogy? If there would, do you think it would be about? I think there will be trilogies. I think there'll be more trilogies. I have no idea what they could be about. I mean, there it's rumored that they were going to do more sequel trilogy stuff, but bro, John Boyega does not stop throwing shade at Star Wars. Like he literally does not stop. I cannot imagine John Boyega coming back and doing Star Wars. Yeah. Well, they treated him pretty bad. Do you think there will be another Star Wars trilogy? Uh, maybe depending on. I think they're gonna go back before the trilogy, before the sequels. Now, Creed more. Hmm. Don't know what that means. I don't either. Any plans for a Mace Vader sex scene in Vader Two? Yeah, that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. Yeah, you know, they just see each other and they just start going at it, and all the you clones are break like, "My record." What? Now and then they start running into you, just like I broke your friend. Didn't uh, Sis have the first Death Star plans on Geonosis? Yes, I'm not sure what the wait, what? Oh, the CIS. I don't know about that. Did they? I guess they did. Yeah, well, I guess they did. Oh, uh, yeah, they did. Poggle Lesser. And Dooku. We're hmm. discussing it. Hmm. Master. Best we, answered this. we answered this. Yeah, we did. Thank you for sending it three times. Yeah, uh, Theory of Find Cool renders this calendar for 2005. You would love. Oh, awesome. That is sick. It's cool. Post pick on your Instagram. It's been two years since my ban, and I've been super confused about the whole thing because I did nothing, but I will still support you. you make rad content. Yeah, it must have been a fat finger from a moment then from uh, my mod because I don't. Honestly, bro, like, do you expect me to remember who I ban, who I don't ban, especially if it was two years ago? Like, I don't, I literally don't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> My brain is that destroyed. HBO makes D plus look bad. True. True, double true. Josh, sick hoodie. What brand is that? Oh, I have no idea, bro. I have no idea, dude. I, I literally bought this at a thrift store, I think. So nice. Mm. Andor slaps and majority agree. Cry about it. <laughs> you see, I don't like those comments because nobody's crying about it. We're just having an opinion. So if anything, that's just really immature of you to say. It is, but it's also par for the course. That's that's, that's what a lot of these fans are like, bro. Not a fan of uh, it's tribalism if you're not all in on Marvel Disney, you are a Republican. Grow up, people. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. We agree. Mm hmm. Tree most hype for? Uh, for right now, Tales of the Jedi. Yeah, Tales of the Jedi is up there. Ahsoka's definitely up there. And Mando 3. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Wow. What a. What a true top G that guy is. Top G. That's the real top G. If Boba was on the ship with the rest of the crew when Luke saved them in Mando Season 2, Luke... Dude, that would have been cool. Luke is indirectly the reason Boba ended in... Yeah, I think they would have fought or something like that. That's yeah, it would have been wild, bro. Yeah. That would have been wild, yeah. I actually thought that was going to come into play for the Book of Boba. Yeah, me too. That like, He would land with Grogu and then be like, what? Yeah. Uh, I think they'll stuff Boba Fett into the Andor show somewhere since it's before A New Hope. I hope not. Oh, no, I don't think so, dude. I don't think this show's having any cameos, actually. No, I think, oh. um, I think we'll see Vader. I would love to see Vader. Who do you guys think is the all-time most powerful Sith Lord? Palpatine. Palpatine. How, How strong, strong do you think Black Freeze will be? I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Strong. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Dude, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it when you get there. You're gonna love it when you get there. Start bench cut. 
start bench. Two TJ, so commando shooting three. Bro, I'd have to cut tails, unfortunately, just because I'm so hyped up on those other two. I'd probably start Ahsoka. And for the total concept, if you think about it, tails is like kind of a short little thing. But hey, and the hey, other two are gonna be wow. Hey, we get all of them. We do get all of them. We don't have to cut any of them. You know. Well, that marks the end of today's stream. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. We appreciate it. This stream will be available tomorrow on uh, Spotify. Tomorrow or the next day, uh, as well as here on the channel, too. But, uh, yeah, go check out the Spotify if you want exclusive content. Uh, it's a bit of a different vibe on there. Great community on there, too. Love you guys. been appreciating it. You guys have been blowing it up, especially as of late. Um, it's going to be some cool interviews coming soon and a lot of new stuff coming on the Spotify as well. What if Django is alive somewhere and he hired a clone to pretend to be him on Genosis, which is why he lost so easily? That would be neat, but it would also kind of be cheap. It's a wild... That's a, it sounds like a good fan fiction, though. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Night Valkyrie. Night Dr. Dakota. Good night, Jake. Good night, Blue. Good night, Jake. Hi, 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 hi. Night, Nicholas Schillings. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Appreciate you guys. We, we love you guys. We hope you guys have a great night, and uh, we'll see you next week. And of course, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video and for the watch party at midnight. Yeah. Midnight. Peace out, everybody. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Hit the wrong button or something. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Take care. And you're sounding like a separatist.